Drunken Peasants Podcast. I got to get it. Say, man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on you, man. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> From the strangest corners of the internet. Here to bring you opinions of the world from an altered perspective. Here are your hosts, the Drunken Peasants. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Drunken Peasants Podcast, episode 469. 69. And today we have Hi, I Think I'm Real and Digibro. Uh, hey. So, so, uh, We'll start with Digibro. For those of, of our fans who aren't aware of who you are, could you just give us a rundown about yourself? I am uh, an anime YouTuber. Talks about fucking cartoons and shit. And, uh, and that's basically it. I also just make shitloads of videos, and I'm always on the internet. My, my voice permeates every corner of the skulls of anyone who dares listen. And I, I like your Dick Masterson shirt, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I know he's been on the show as well. <laughs> Big fan. I've, I've I've been on his show too. So yeah, yeah, he's great. It's all a happy family circle here. And then we then we got hi. I think I'm real. Uh, yeah, uh, introduce yourself to the people. Hi, uh, I think I'm real. Um, I'm an Andy Worski YouTuber. I've been making Andy Worski videos for seven <laughs> years. Um, what I do is I wake up um, 7.38 in the morning, every morning, and I look at what Andy Worski's done recently with his life, and then I make an entire video about it. And my videos are no less than an hour and 45 minutes in length every single time. Yeah. Um, I, I consider myself an Andy Worski expert. I went to the... Um, school uh, so it's the pennsylvania um pentecostal school of andy worski and um and so that's that's sort of my my whole deal is that all, all i do the only the only kind of redeeming factor about me is that i talk about andy worski i'm a youtuber now i heard that you started doing videos on andy worski andy worski started watching them and that's what got him to start doing videos on youtube right was watching Absolutely. your videos on him Yes, yes, and in a weird way, um, it's almost like a like a time travel plot line and sort of a self fulfilling prophecy. Um, it was because of his existence that I came to be, but because I came to be, he too came into existence. So and we I, have this really uh, beautiful um, sort of like a um, maybe like a symbiotic dependent relationship. Yeah, symbiotic. I would codependent, say, symbiotic. Absolutely. You know, as a matter of fact, I, I'm thinking. I don't about know how it. stupid a question this is, but who the fuck is Andy Worski? Oh, you're better <laughs> off that way. <laughs> Well, um, I, I heard I, that you. Can I, give I heard answer, the real you. Answer? You can. You can. But it's time to also reveal why you stopped making Andy Worski videos, and that's because you started to develop a stutter. I started to develop like, a stutter. As a matter of fact, yes. Yeah. Um, it's it's only. Um, I can only sort of heal it away, and the healing uh, factor lasts for about thirty minutes after I, uh, I masturbate furiously to Andy Worski. So the afterglow. <laughs> Of, of that masturbation specifically to Andy Worski is what allows me to speak straight, which is why I'm not stuttering now. But soon huh. you'll you'll see it come back. In but, which but case yeah. I, will, I will begin furiously masturbating again. Serious answer about Andy Worski though. Go ahead. Go ahead and, and fill in our <laughs> friend who doesn't know who Andy Worski is. Oh, so, okay. oh my God. Um, and, uh, well, Andy Worski, he's just a YouTuber. He's been, he's just a YouTuber. He's, I don't know. He does stuff. Um, he, uh oh, the stutter, like, uh, the stutter's coming yeah, back. Do, 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 do. You're going to have to masturbate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. All right. Um, so, so yeah, yeah. He, he's, yeah, I've done like a few videos on, on the guy. Cause I just, well, can I, can I say the R word on the drunken peasants or is that a stupid yes. question? He's, he's retarded. He, oh, <laughs> he's I was thinking a different R word. Oh, okay. so is he just yeah. like a I was like, or, yes. Well, he me, ran, okay. he, he ran for what was for a few months the number one streaming channel on YouTube, basically. But it it was all focused around alt right, and and they they you know they had a lot of like alt right guests. Mm. Uh, so it so when him and his co host, who was very much alt right, had a disagreement and they split up the the his stream changed a lot and it, you know basically that was where the alt right went to super chat the n word <laughs> until they realized they could do it in public with ice poseidon stream so 
it was, it was, oh, it was pretty great. it was pretty painful um but i just i think that like i was really fascinated by the whole thing because um i was like an audience member of this anti-sjw movement like in late yes. 2015 through 2016 right and i was consuming a lot of content from from people who were generally i think intelligent and 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 um had a lot of really salient points that helped me see the world differently and, and certainly affected my mind people like sargon and way before him thunderfoot rolling millennial and and um maybe people that are a bit more uh, extreme like blonde in the belly of the beast were just interesting because i could hear thoughts that were like wow this is i would never hear this on the street this is really crazy um and he was part of that like that noise for a while but his whole thing was like hey i'm gonna i'm gonna be the everyman who like yells about feminists um which was i think really cathartic at the time but uh but i think eventually we began to realize that that he it's our word again he's just kind of retarded so i uh, i made a couple of videos i'm like man this dude is insanely stupid but also has been insanely influential in, in this really big like very angry political turmoil that came out of 2016 yeah but do, do you stand by that he is literally the worst youtuber of all time oh absolutely not um no, I, uh, I I think that that I'm obviously being hyperbolic, and people yeah. people like like um were, were like, whoa, whoa, you you think he's worse than Onision? Actually, well, as far as quality goes, I bet he's I think he's worse than Onision. I, I like quality, like just by by the by sheer, sheer technicality, I feel like he just Onision probably puts more work into his his videos. So maybe if you want to measure it that way, but people were saying, oh, you think Onision's better than him? You think it's like you're you're hanging up on on something that's not even important. I don't even care about like dick measuring who the worst YouTuber is in the world, you know. Who, who, how are you going to measure that? Like, how are you going to determine that? That's, it is. You know, it, well, it's subjective. I think it's probably Casey Neistat. I, I don't even know. Probably, who. Yeah. Fuck I think that it's probably guy. Phil, Phil I was Phil watching Casey Neistat video right before I came on this show. And it wasn't I, I was too. I like I like Casey Neistat. I'm just so, I'm fucking around. So did you bro, generally take, liked? Did you bro? I don't have a problem with anime per se, yeah. but the anime fan base really turns me off to anime. What can I do? Need it's funny you say tonight. that because Need the tonight. anime fan base is probably the one of the more tolerable fan bases I've ever seen. Really, as as someone who's who's been bouncing between different ones, because anime fans are they're they're aggressive and they're autistic, but ultimately it's difficult for them to tell you like you're watching anime wrong. Um, like gamers, in my experience, are are vastly harder to talk to because you'll be like, I don't like a video game, and they'll be like. You played it wrong. You're a fucking idiot. You're just a <laughs> I, I'm like, I, I, well, have I don't seen... even know how to like start that conversation. So there is a way like, to watch anime wrong. Yeah, like... there absolutely is because because there's a there's a huge delineation in like quality of anime person between the person that watches subs and the person that watches dubs. You're, That's you're, like, exactly a what I was going to bring up. Oh, I was you're gonna right. Bring that up. And you because we have a movie theater that shows premieres of anime here. Yeah, it'll and, release them. I go to them. I only started them. doing it this year when I got movie pass. I started doing it because of the movie pass. I never watched anime before. I was like, fuck it, I'm going to go in, I'm going to watch. And I was doing people watching for some of them. Because these animes were like borderline uh, like 12-year-old girls with their tops off type thing, you know? And I'm looking at the audience like, who the fuck? I went on Valentine's Day. And there was a whole <laughs> bunch of single dudes in the audience and single women. And they sat far apart from each other except one heavy <laughs> breathing dude sat right next to me in an empty hat, like mostly empty theater. It was fucking weird. But then uh, as, as on the way out, the guys were arguing about how you, you really lose a lot of the translation in this in the sub version as, uh, or the dub version as opposed to the sub. You can't really get the, the nuance well, you, in this spoken in I Japanese. Mean, if you watch subs, you're probably a fucking moron who doesn't know what you're doing. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, but like, okay, like the, like the Dragon Ball Z dub is infinitely better than, than like the Japanese. That. I would fully rather watch it. Fully Cooly dub is way better I disagree than, with that. But no, the main fully reason dub. I like the Fully Cooly in Japanese better is that there's a lot of meta behind it. Because for one thing, it's non-actors in the Japanese version. They wanted it to sound like grounded and realistic so that it would feel more like just actual kids. So like, Almost everyone in the cast is just like, like literally not actors, and that's why some people might think it sounds kind of stilted. But that's kind of what they were going for. The one person who is an actress is the voice actress of Haruko, and she is played by an actress named Mayumi Shintani, who's a like a real actress, like not a voice actress. She only appears in shows by Studio Gainax, and she's been in like all of them. So for me, as a huge nerd for that studio, like I'll take the sub ten times. A day because even though i grew up with the dub like i watched it probably 15 times as a kid it's just the you know the meta of the dub is hearing these actors who i've heard in like literally thousands of anime and they're the only people who get hired to do anything 
uh, versus, you know, something that was actually unique and, and had a purpose in the Japanese version. So, yeah. You know. See, I'm I'm 37 years old. And when I when I first got into anime, there wasn't a huge fandom for it. And if you wanted to get new anime, you had to, like, join a mailing list and, like, yeah. order VHS tapes. And that hope were, like, that you like subtitles. Yeah, I used, like, I used to get ads yeah. for it on my Japanese wrestling videotapes. I would buy. Yeah, yeah, Tokyo Pop. So I, I got really into like the older stuff. Like, uh, like I liked Ranma One Half. That that was oh, one yeah. of my favorite ones back in the day. Um, have you ever seen? Have you ever seen the original Vampire Hunter D? I've you know I've only seen Bloodlust. I've never actually okay. watched the original movie, but I have read the book of it, so I know the, what the, happens. The animation in Bloodlust is way better, but I liked the original D. Uh, pretty good too it's just the obviously the animation quality is lacking compared to the two i think they're like what like yeah. 20 years apart or something so Be like a good 10 years apart but the second one is like the guy who directed it same guy who did ninja scroll and it was like him going all the way with his aesthetic you ever seen ninja scroll that's some classic yes. shit yes i realized the appeal of anime though when i was watching at the movie theater and all the little tisms were in the crowd it's because mm -hmm. the translation from Japanese to English is is it's literal like translation. There's no nuance in the speech, and these autistic people they 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 love the literal okay. translation. Here's here's That's a question. A part of it, uh, and also that for autistic people, it's that the the fact that anime characters are so expressive, like there's no subtlety in the expression. They can just yeah. show you exactly what they're feeling, and it's a lot easier to understand that. And that makes sense. Who are socially awkward retards? Can I, like, so. can I make the whole stream turn on me with like five words immediately? Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. I've never seen Cowboy Bebop. Wow. No, Even I've you know, seen that. Like that. <laughs> Did like Netflix it? remake okay. it? Here's here's a question for everybody. Here's a question for everybody. You don't have to answer if you don't want to, but you uh, uh, take a guess. Out of the last ten times you masturbated to porn, how many of those times would you say it was animated? Forty three. Uh, all of them. <laughs> all of them? Yeah, see, I can't do it. It's just not for me. Like, I, I don't want to judge, but I can't. I Cartoons don't turn me on. I only like to, to, to animated Andy Worski gifts. <laughs> for a while, that's, I was only master. For a while, I was only masturbating to the QVC hand models when they're showing off the rings on QVC. I don't know what it was, but... <laughs> He uh, real watches hands. his uh, anime porn on his CRT TV that he's got. Yeah, you see that thing right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. I like it all you green. Like, I want. I want yeah, to so, count the pixels on Andy Worski's gigantic. So, thing. <laughs> so seriously though, what? What? It probably isn't one specific thing, but what turned you around from being what you considered to be a pretty far left to now being decently far to the right of center? Oh, me. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, you. Well, I don't know I, about DigiBro's political stance at all. I I would consider myself like uh, I I don't I don't want to associate with any of the groups uh, idealistically as libertarian as you could possibly be, but without a necessarily knowing anything about the Libertarian Party or what people who call themselves that claim to care about. I don't watch any pundits or anything. So sure. You know. well, my whole thing was was that I, I began uh, college and um, was able to make it into an impacted sociology program. And this is like ground zero for what what is generally um, called like cultural Marxism. And, and, and that word is is thrown around so often that it barely means anything anymore. But the um, the the basis of critical theory of intersectionalism um, and all those things that sort of inform progressive philosophy in the modern day were the basic tenets of um, just sociology and sociological thinking. And, and this is what we were studying as a as a uh, not not as a not as a study, but almost as a, as a practice. So, you know, when, when you read a, te a textbook when you're a kid and all the words that are bolded have a definition that follow and you have to, like, n remember the definitions. Well, like, white white supremacy was a bolded word that had the definition, a system of society, the yada, yada, yada. Um, so that entire worldview um, I adopted very quickly because authority figures were uh, – were telling me that this is the way the world is. And because this is all happening in an academic environment, I felt that I had um, the, the backing of credible uh, authority to, to inform my worldview. And so I started going more and more and more studying um, radical feminism and, and Marxism and generally thinking, oh my God, this is sort of the truth. This is, this is the way, um, the facts are on my side. And 
I think it, it eventually sort of began to uh, crumble apart after a couple of years of of looking and feeling this way because I started to see um, people turning on individuals who I cared about using like macro sociological data and macro sociological thinking. So it's like, oh, hey, data says that uh, white people get less of this and this and this and they're, they're better off. Therefore, I can treat this individual person very, very shittily and uh, and sort of justify it. Um, and, and so my, fa my father's uh, a white man. And uh, and when I came home one day, this was sort of the big, the big thing. One of the big things that happened is that I came home um, after being at school and I sat in front of him and what I looked at was a man with, with privilege and not a man who grew up on a farm of uh, Austrian immigrants and, and worked his ass off to make it in life. I saw like privilege and power and ungratitude and, and ignorance. And I saw all these things that I'm like, oh my God, I can't even look at my own father the same because of the color of his skin. And and that freaked me out. And so I started to, to become a little bit more moderate and in my backtracking, away from extreme like leftism a lot of my friends who were you know other self-avowed marxists and other self-avowed militants fem feminists really turned on me um oh. and people would say, would say things like oh you can only you only have a moderate position because you're white passing um you wouldn't understand and and, and things like that but so, yep. so, suddenly my yeah my experience um, white passing a, does that mean yeah. that means you could pass as white is that what they yeah, mean I, it means i look white enough that i benefit from from systems of privilege that oppress others and therefore Am, it's like a, I, I'm effectively white. I, um, I want to uh, to touch on that a little bit. Uh, you know the rapper Logic. He's oh yeah, a, yeah. He, he he's a mixed rapper who looks very white, and a lot of his songs are about like the experience he had feeling othered as a mixed person. And the funny thing is that a lot of the rap critics who I watch who talk about him will say things like, "Oh, I'm sick of hearing him talk about being mixed," because like being mixed couldn't like he he's white passing how could it possibly be as bad as being black and i'm like do you not recognize that you in saying that are just confirming what he is saying that exactly. because he is a white passing black person he doesn't get affirmation from black people and or white people so like he's probably the most othered of anyone in that circumstance and yet like that should be self-evident in the fact that he's saying it yet it's really funny to me that people are like oh well He's white passing. How could he possibly have emotional problems to rap yeah, about? Like there's also you know? there's another layer to like systems of racism that we studied in class, and and you'll see online and and you know like on, an article about like on the root or something about colorism, and that colorism is sort of racism within groups of people of color and that like light-skinned yeah. black people are more privileged than dark-skinned black people. Like that's that's a real yeah. thing too. Um, Indeed. And so yeah, yeah. And so like I, 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 I went like, to a uh, I went to an all black school for a little while, and everyone described everyone else by the grade of skin color. It was like that. How did you get in? Artists, you know? Are you? Yeah. It just it just so happened my family just moved to like the inner city for like six months or I, so, and I was I like lived... one of five white kids. At the oh, school. okay. So it wasn't just like an all black. It was, it wasn't like, like, segregated. No, not like, it, oh, yeah. not like an okay. on purpose all black school. Just it happened. Okay. To be I lived here. in a. I lived in the in the inner city, um, and I've talked about this on the show before, where I, it, it was almost expected that even if you were white, you talked with like a like a street accent, and I I would get accused of acting too white by other white people, so. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I had a really strange experience one time where one of the only other white people at the school came up to me at the at the lunch table and was kind of like, "Yo, man, we got to stick together and stuff." And it was funny <laughs> they do that in prison. Well, you was, have to do it. It was in really prison. funny to me, Joe, just because of the fact that he like acted and dressed and everything exactly like anyone else at the school, whereas I was over here like actually like totally weird and out there and didn't look like I I had super long hair at the time going down to my ass and like I wore nothing but sweatpants and i had shitty beard everyone called me joe dirt um it like wasn't the, the happiest Michigan time of my life but I just got full stop <laughs> everybody. like i wasn't even picked on or anything just nobody acknowledged me at all i just like was a ghost at that school but uh it was really funny to me when that guy came up and was like yo we got to stick together and i'm like you seem like you're from here like i don't know what you who who are we who is you and i you know like uh, I think you have more in common with everyone else here than I do, to be honest. You know? He just wants to take you behind the bleachers and like rub your beautiful white Aryan skin together. <laughs> just like, oh, That's just what they do in prison, too. Feel the purity. Uh, I, yeah, I, can a, give, yeah. I can give racism a pass in prison because prison is one, one of the few places where rape is still a currency. So 
I, I, I think it's okay to have racism there. I mean, like, <laughs> rape is is just an expected part of your sentence they, when you go well, to yeah, prison. Yeah, like, they trade butt for cigarettes, basically, in there. It's gross, but it's... It's You're right. Cigarettes are gross. I, I hate <laughs> them. <laughs> they make your Cigarette breath stinky. Uh, yeah. So uh, we have a new segment on the show that we're going to premiere today. Uh, Billy is going to answer some questions that were sent to us by our audience, almost like a like a dear Abby kind of question. You guys need some help. And if you guys going forward, if you guys want to send in any questions, there's a link down in the or, or I'm sorry, there's an email down in the description. It's dr- it's drunken peasants inbox at gmail.com. If you want to send us any content, you can send it there going forward. No so, uh, dick pics. Feel free to, to read these and uh, give I, I printed them out for you so they should be Should we go into it right now? Yeah, go ahead and do that and then we'll move on to the news and so the other you, stuff. You titled this segment Food for Thought. Is Food that a, for Thought. Is that a fat pun? Is it because I'm fat? You fucking uh, fat right now? <laughs> Are you fat? Don't I get a, th- a d- don't I get a thin pass because my dad's not fat? Isn't that you get a works? thin pass because your dick is I'm, so thin. I'm thin passing. I got you're a thick <laughs> one, dude. I got, I got a girthy. Thin. Yeah, I got a girthy road railroad spike down there. Um, <laughs> dear Billy the fridge. Whenever I try to talk to a girl, I end up making a bunch of awkward references to video games and anime, and they seem weirded out since I'm basically speaking a separate language to them. Where do you meet the type of babes that like things like Magic the Gathering and stuff like that? Did Damon just write this and send Probably. it into us? He wants oh, okay. some nerd girls. Okay. I think, uh, I, think, like, I think the problem with this guy is that he thinks there are babes who play Magic the Gathering. Hot blood babes. Hot blood babes. Just go to a Magic tournament and talk to the girls who happen to be there. Yeah, yeah that's the, the thing, thing is, like, he though. He doesn't want to talk to the girls that happen to be there because they're not babes. Babes. He right. The, there are some babes. Titty streamer. There are well, some babes. Go, but... go ahead and start a YouTube channel and talk about Magic and then, like... Uh, be attractive enough that the you girls who watch you want to date you. Yeah, like if you start a YouTube channel around this shit, you're gonna find some awkward girls yeah. online. I mean, here's the thing. Oh, actually, you answer it. I'm, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna answer it. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, basically, it says. I'm speaking a separate language to them. Uh, <laughs> learn their fucking language, dude. Like, if, if they don't want to hear anime and video games, try and pick up a hobby that uh, attracts more women, like start hiking or something. I know that sounds gross I mean, to you. hygiene is a big thing. Check out your personal hygiene first. Yeah, wash your balls and stuff. That should, like, here, here's a, here's a, here's a, a straight-up beginner's answer for every question you ever ask. We're just going to assume your balls smell good, okay? We're going to assume that going into all these answers. Because I, I don't want to have to tell people to wash themselves. I want to say to that guy, it depends what he's looking for, what advice to give. Because if he's just trying to fuck girls, like if all he cares about is having sex, then yeah, learn their language and just be somebody who's not you. And if don't you make it obvious want, that... Like, a, if you want a girlfriend, find girls who speak your language or else you're going to be miserable. Ninety-eight yeah. percent of the time, I, I swear, ninety-eight percent of the time, whenever I, I see a question like this, frame like this, oh, I play video games, how do I talk to girls, yeah. how to find a babe? Somebody, I mean, you say babes, like babes. I mean, maybe it's a joke, but I really think that that tells <laughs> me something about how like the kind of woman that he's trying to find, and he, he's trying to find Jessica Negri at uh at a you can't magic say convention. that word. Yeah, well, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's her um, name, Negri? <laughs> How do I? Is, is that not? Oh shit! Okay, well you know what, Disney, uh, I'm, res- I'm resigning. Disney, thank you. Yeah. I will. I won't direct Guardians Volume Three. Thanks. There goes my um, cameo as the blob yeah, yeah. in the next high, X-Men. They have high expectations yeah, too. They, they want to date the, that chick that they see on Instagram. They want to date Meg Turney, right? I mean, like that's that's what they want. They think that they're going to find that. Just they imagine that, that, if- that woman is going to be attracted to them at a magic convention, and it's not going to happen. Go to the gym, asshole. Just imagine if (laughs) Elliot Roger would have had slightly lower standards. He probably wouldn't have murdered anybody. I don't know. He'd have murdered that pussy. Uh. (laughs) Um, I don't even know if he needed lower standards. He just needed to approach a woman at all. (laughs) Yeah, he just needed to not be... A, a moron about like how women work I th- because he, right. he, he, he that's the whole thing is it like you you also don't want to see this as like you, you don't want to look at women as a resource i think if you want to have a lasting relationship with somebody that's that's a big mistake don't look at a woman as a means to an end in order to gra- gratify yourself but like think about how you can sacrifice for someone that you care about i think that's real love and fulfillment so that's my that's my fucking soapbox yeah. right there 
And, and also, I have tons of friends who have like met girls online playing World of Warcraft or League of Legends sure. and stuff. And uh, sometimes you might have to buy them a plane ticket and move them into your fucking parents' basement. But th- there's abundance of women out there that are lonely playing games. And if you just fly them out spirit air for $86, they'll suck you and make you pizza fucking rolls in your mom's basement. I wish basement. it only cost me $86 when I did this. <laughs> But the other thing that this guy has to understand is that if he wants to find the woman that spends a lot of time playing video games and card games and everything, and then he looks at himself and he looks at his life and he and, and he thinks, okay, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. I mean, you, you are literally looking for somebody that's going to be doing what you're doing. I don't know, man. I mean, like if, if that's your if that's your life and uh, if you aren't generally attractive, then I mean, I just think that you're going to attract what you're putting out in the universe. So you're just going to find a generally unattractive woman without very many sex fulfilling hobbies and, and without much direction in life. Get a job, move up, get promotions, go to the gym, you know, cut your hair. I don't know. Gym tan just, laundry, yeah. dude. Yeah, man. Get, go, <laughs> fucking go tanning. Start doing like, start working on your nutri- nutrition. You know, I mean, you, you can, you can up your standards when you yourself are at a higher standard. I, yeah. I said, yeah, yeah. You, you can up your standards. Um, I don't know if this guy even has standards, though. Like, he's he's trying to talk to these women about anime and video games, right? Of course there are women that are into that, but he might be... Uh, he might have this ideal woman that <laughs> just doesn't exist, at least in his reality at this time. True. You know what yeah. he should do is that he should take a year and just work on himself and not think yes. about women. Just don't think about women and just make yourself a better person. hundred percent. Do things that you love and and develop that's like your the, that's talent. That's the cycle, right? Well, no, not 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 to say that like exclude them because you see them as a risk whenever you marry them. Like that's not what I'm saying. I'm I'm saying like like just work on yourself for a while, man. Yeah. Because you, you'll you'll step away from the dating pool and and you'll stop being concerned with that. You have so much more time and energy to do things that you love, and you'll be happier and you'll be healthier. And then when you step back into it, you're going to step back into it a transformed person. And and suddenly, so many more doors are going to open for you. If if you real the YouTube co- chat is just people arguing over whether Jessica. <laughs> Nigiri is even actually hot. That's is all the Nigiri? chat is. Is it Nigiri? Is that what it is? I think it's Nigiri, yeah. Whatever like it is. I said, I said, I said, <laughs> I said Nigiri? Uh, yeah. I, would, I would appreciate it if you guys just stop this. <laughs> what? Or would you stop this line, what? Of, line of discussion? It's, it's inappropriate. Um, it's kind of like a nunnery. But I, I do agree with backing away for a year, working on yourself, <laughs> work on yourself, and uh, you'd be surprised what happens. Maybe six months into the year, somebody finds you. You don't even, because if you stop looking for it, it's more likely to find you because you're busy focusing on yourself. And when you're focusing on yourself, you, you, you exuberate a, a, a little bit of something extra that, that you don't have when you have that desperation hanging off of you and women women can sense that shit a mile away when there's a dude that is that is not trying really hard to look good but trying really hard organically because he is someone that's passionate and wants to embody excellence they just gravitate towards that so yep. seriously like, like she'll come to you just do you and work on yourself let's move on to the Fact. next one okay Dear Billy the Fridge, my co-workers found pictures of me in a fursuit posted online. They make me do menial tasks for them, like getting them coffee, or else they'll reveal the whole story to my boss and likely get me fired from my job. What should I do? Okay, you really think like your, your boss is going to fire you for that? Tell, yeah, your, boss, your, tell, tell your boss <laughs> what you do. Tell your boss, hey, look, this is a thing that I'm into. I, just, I do this on my own time. I'm not representing the company, whatever. Tell your boss. Be honest. And then say... I want to take on more responsibilities at this uh, at this company. Become your coworkers' bosses. Just yes. do that. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Serious. serious. You work, or, work for three months. Work really hard for three months, and the next thing you know, you got a promotion, and then you're telling them to do go, to go get you coffee. So. Or you could just come into work in the fursuit. suit. Yes. <laughs> that's and be what like I, that's alpha wolf mode, and especially if your first <laughs> suit is a wolf. Like if that's that's how you do it, um, but but the other option is fine too. You don't want to keep these secrets because when you keep secrets, people keep them over you. Mm-hmm. Exactly. As soon as you, unless, you you put it out in the open, they don't have any power over you. Unless it's like a really fucked up picture where you got a like a a swordfish hanging off the end of your dick, <laughs> then I don't know what to say about that. Uh, how Next. long do you think it's going to be until we get a workplace mass shooting by somebody in a fursuit? Oh man! Oh man! This, don't give anyone yeah, here ideas. Yeah, right a lot here, of our fan base are furries. This buddy I, right I here, like, don't shoot up your work. That's the very number you know one what we thing. We were gonna do. We were gonna go to a furry convention, dress like uh, university mascots, and pretend like we were there, thinking that it was like a convention for mascots. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's but, all, hey, that's that's a plot for a fantastic like Adam Sandler movie. I think that would yeah. really bring his career back. <laughs> Netflix, like man, in oh, a fursuit is like self assured enough that they don't need to shoot up a workplace. You know, <laughs> God, I hope, I hope. <laughs> that guy's figured himself out. That guy's yeah. comfortable. Once you're in your first space, you're safe. Next question, dear Billy the Fridge, I'm a YouTuber from the Southern U.S. of A. Everyone makes fun of the way I say things on podcasts and everywhere else on the internet. How do I get people to respect me? Lean into um, it. I don't know. You guys know Boogie2988. He had a heavy accent to begin with, and he just fucking got rid of it. He, he worked it out. He has a character now that he, he'll bring back named Jesse that has the whole accent, uh, and it, he plays it as a joke, but he... He tries not to talk that way. You can change the way you talk if you like. Oh, if you, you I, if you, I used to sound. I'm also from the south, and I used to sound a lot more southern before I started doing YouTube. But just like doing so many fucking podcasts, like and just projecting your voice, it yeah, it just naturally changes. Like I didn't even make an attempt to change my voice. It just happened from the sheer amount of podcasts yeah. I do. But I mean, I, I, if if ahead. you want to if you want to celebrate your southern accent. Then, like, 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 real said, you could lean into it. Fucking focus on the parts you love about your accent. Turn them up. The best character work is when you take who you are and you dial it up a notch. So yeah. find the best parts of that that you love and just turn that shit up. And the you other can thing kill too, it, like, or you can build it. No, nothing. And I'm thinking about this because I'm a terrible person, and I'm always thinking about life as like I need to destroy my competition around me all the time. A southern accent is the easiest way to disarm everybody around you. Nobody's gonna like, or everyone is going to underestimate you if you have a southern accent. Yeah, it's true. They, absolutely, because they're gonna think, oh, this this dude is no one that I have to take seriously. He's not a threat. You walk into a room talking about grits and shit, everyone's gonna write you <laughs> off. But you're the person that they have to they, that they're not gonna see coming. Next thing you know. Boom! Knife in their back. You got the promotion. They didn't. Yep. You got the whatever, and they didn't. So, so lean into it because it's the best cover for people to just underestimate you and move out of your way so that you could get what you want. Look, Google this. That's how Matthew McConaughey got away with seven murders. Google that shit. It's it's fact. Uh, I right think up. probably not right right anymore. Right. <laughs> Murph, oh yeah, Murph, it's the gravity Murph. <laughs> Sorry, I, I love the, that movie. The next question, dear Billy the Fridge, I'm. I'm very fat, but I want to cross-dress and become a trap. How do I make myself as much of a sweet boy as possible while being over 200 pounds? Wait, where are we crossing to and from? Uh, I'm very fat. I, cross, I want to cross-dress and become a trap. How do I make myself as much of a sweet boy as possible? This is, the sweet boy makes me think it's male or female to male. But the trap thing. No. Makes me yeah. Male to female. yeah. No, it's but, a guy. Come on. If it's a guy, over 200 pounds isn't that fat. They say very fat. It's very fat for like a short woman. Yeah, well, I mean like... 200 pounds can be 299 pounds. Yeah. I mean, you just got to remember that like not every woman is a skinny little stick girl. There's tons of fat women out there. So just portray a fat woman. However fat, fat you are, make sure your titties stick out further than your belly. There if you, you got to go. pad that bra with some big old fucking watermelons, do that. Because the, the the number one the number one thing when you're trying to portray a woman is a big old fucking titties. Because the ass is never right, right? Very rarely do you see a trap with a quality ass. Like it happens, it happens. But it's there's always something man ass about that ass, and and that's fine. You know, there's only so much you can do. But the boobs, you can fake the fuck out of those. We you have the technology. This? This sounds like um like a bunch of old dudes at like a classic car show talking about like engines and shit. You know, like like you you never see a Chevy Malibu with a quality ass. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you never see a Hemi under that chassis. <laughs> but yeah, uh, work on them titties. Uh, makeup is key if you want to be a drag queen b uh, as opposed to wanting to be a trap. It's two different ways to do your makeup. All right, drag queens are theatric, over the top, almost kabuki in nature. You don't want to go that route if you're trying to trick somebody into sucking your dick. That's <laughs> or sucking their dick. I don't know. How, I don't know. I don't. I don't know the where you go with this. I think if you're trying to be a trap, then you're the you're the one yeah. sucking the dick. Okay, then then you want to have your face look as much uh, like a woman as possible, not like a uh, drag queen. So tr 
check out them tutorials on YouTube where they, they do the, the makeup tutorials because you're going to find a couple of girls that make themselves look fucking crazy different. Like they'll start out looking like they might have some like leukemia or something, and by the end, they look like a Cardassian. It's, it's amazing. What? What you got to do to find the right videos is you got to method act. And what you got to do is you got to make a YouTube account and mark yourself as female. Because when you do that, YouTube recommends you entirely different shit from what they'll recommend you as a guy. Really? So they'll just hit you with nothing but like makeup tutorials and like lifestyle videos from women. And uh, yeah, just do that. Just like tell the internet you're a girl and it'll treat you like one. Because the internet doesn't know better. I treat me like a lady. I used to like um, play World of Warcraft and would pretend that I would text like text chat like a girl and people would just give me gold. It was fucking crazy. Wow. I think that's what most of the girls in uh, World of Warcraft were. Yeah, it was like a 15 year old dude like coming home from school and, and just saying a lot of like, haha, honey or something or like putting a winky face and people just give me gold. Just give me gold. Wow. Yep. Always, you, gotta, you gotta always be a blood elf though. You gotta be a blood elf chick. And the, and the hilarious part about that is even if you were a girl, they're not getting a piece of that, you oh, know, no. like, <laughs> so why, why do they want to give you shit? I, I, I the, the thirst is real. It can only be yeah. quenched by giving away everything you have. And then you can't be thirsty no more. Cause you've it's got the, nothing to fucking exchange. I mean, you're it's basically just being a, a very low effort sex worker. <laughs> like you're just, you're giving them what <laughs> they want. I've been noticing a trend lately. Oh, uh, Are you okay, Benjamin? Yeah. Benjamin had surgery. I had, her I had a triple hernia surgery le uh, less triple than two weeks hernia. ago. Yeah, Jesus. I had three hernias. I've I've noticed a trend recently with my <laughs> sex worker hernias, friends. <laughs> His has too many hernias, three, but they're they're healing. He just can't laugh. Uh, recently, I've noticed a trend with my sex worker friends, and they're complaining a lot that like their sugar daddies and their pay pigs aren't giving them uh, as much money as they used to and and i i don't i don't know how i feel about that like if if you are, are you entitled at that point to some man's money just because he's been giving you like thousands of dollars a month are you entitled to it when he stops like do you get to feel like this relationship was working fine for two years and now he stops just giving me money like, wh where mean, does it go you from? You know, there? it's market fluctuation. I mean, if the demand has gone down, then so too shall the cost. Am I saying this right? You know what I'm talking about. Economics. Someone in the chat told me to walk it off. How do you walk <laughs> off a hernia? Walk it off, man. <laughs> How the fuck do you do that? I think I have, dirt in it. I have yeah. four incision <laughs> wounds right now. Four. I have one. I have one in my navel. One like up near my rib cage, and two like above my my pelvic area. How do I walk this off? I need to know because you know the fucking Percocet doesn't totally take the edge off. If I can walk this off, then that would be great. You gotta make some Molly with that Percocet. Oh, That's dude. Woo. Dude, it's. Oh, I'll tell you what, Percocet. It's it it is a wonderful thing. I know it's destroying the world and everything, but it is wonderful. <laughs> Seriously. So, oh, let me ask you guys. Okay, so how do you guys feel about drugs? Like, do you think how, how do you feel about all drugs being legal? Cuz that's personally how I feel about it. I feel honestly yeah, all I'm drugs down. literally should be legal. I'm down. I don't know. I I don't know and it's not that I um I don't, well, my whole thing um, as as sympathetic as I tend to be towards like libertarian kind of um, positions on things and arguments, I I feel like I just have an aversion generally to like an all encompassing just let's just do this everywhere. Yeah. I just like that that just shoots a red flag and I'm like I think that we're not thinking of something. I don't know. It's like one of those unknown unknowns, but I feel like like something must be missing. In, in the nuance of the issue, so I don't, I don't know. I, I feel like I wouldn't jump straight into it, but if it was, if I could find that that was truly the best solution to the issue, then I'd be all for it. I just feel like that's well, a I, step I too you, far. Uh, too you soon. don't have to stop at just legalizing all of it and then not doing anything else. I think that you could legalize it all and then make the education on it a lot better, and then and also, make yeah, not even just regulate it. Benefits and you know, because some drugs are like net positive in certain situations like people will just keep doing the same drug over and over again because it like made them feel good once and they don't know what else to do because life is unending misery but like it sometimes you could just pop 
a fucking Ritalin once a week and get your whole house clean, and you're like, hey, <laughs> now my house is clean. So you know, I think I I think there should be education and also regulation in a sense where people aren't just putting out whatever and being like, hey, this is this is pure cocaine when in in reality it's cut with something harmful or yeah. something like that. But I I do think that we need to I we're emboldening. Uh, you know these these Mexican cartels by funding them with American money. I think one of the Those biggest problems with, Mexicans. I mean, it's true. Classic. I, I had an argument with someone who wanted the wall built very badly, and I'm like, hey, we wouldn't even need the wall if the quality of life in Mexico was better overall. I mean, we wouldn't need to worry about people from Mexico trying to sneak into our country if that were the case. And I would say, I, I would argue that a big part of that are these drug cartels that have taken over such a large part of, of Mexico, especially near the border. And, and they're being funded by American money, Americans buying these drugs coming in from Mexico. Yeah, I'm totally with that. I think that immigration is something that I really care about. And I think it's it's uh, it's insane to me that we have so many undocumented people in the country. Um, but putting up a wall is like very childishly trying to treat yeah, a symptom. I agree. It's it's not the problem. And and the problem is people trying to get here in the first place. So right. I, I think it'd be fantastic if there was as much um, uh, promise and and uh, um, success and, and, and whatever um, – uh, in other in other countries, especially in our in our southern neighbors, they're right there. They're next to us. They're our neighbors. Um, it'd be fantastic if they could be doing as well as we do, um, because then there wouldn't be that 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 like desire for people. Um, I mean, my my mother came here um, the right way and and everything. So I'm very proud of her for doing that. But it was out of this sensation of of a need. It's like I can't be here for the rest of my life if I want something more for my child. And so, you know, there there she went. Um, so that desire is there. How do we? ensure that it isn't this unquelled thing 11 million people that's insane right yeah. like no other country has to deal with that um but at the same time instead of just trying to like put a patch on on what a symptom is figure out what the problem is and, and treat that instead yeah there's already ways around a wall even if they did somehow manage to build a coast-to-coast -coast border wall people Which are still going to go plan, under right? it they're going to go over it they're going to go around it i mean when when i was in anaheim uh for vidcon i saw a local news report about how they come over in fishing boats they go way way out and come around the border and then they come back in i mean they, they almost the, the die part, doing it the part that cracked me up about the wall was didn't the great wall of china not work like didn't the mongols just climb it and come in anyway yeah i, I, am mean, I remembering mulan right there was vulnerabilities to it for sure and even you know back then there wasn't the type of technology that we have now i'm sure it was effective in some ways based well, on when it was built is there in a wall like what you, kind of we building a wall with like laser grids on it or like what's that's the, what we should do we should be building a, a a different type of wall uh something that can detect people crossing without having to literally build a structure why build a wall when you could build a fucking blender Oh, I don't did you ever see, a, did you see that, that blood that blood sea anime? No. Where they, like, like these these big yes. like bunny monsters like turn their hands into a blender and, and they have a bag of like like three thousand people and they just stick the blender into the bag and you just see oceans of blood oh, coming up. Oh, oh so that's well, that's what I thought of. Sorry for bringing that up. <laughs> yeah, the, the, sounds interesting. What the yeah. fuck happened to Alex Jones's eye? No. Oh, damn. I don't he looks weird in this picture. Anyway, uh the big story today is Alex Jones uh he's pissed because all of the major platforms on the internet have removed him. Good I reason and, to be pissed. <laughs> yeah, I mean for him and and here's the thing, I don't think this should have happened. Uh I do think if he caused any actual damages to the families of Sandy Hook victims and shit, they can go ahead and take him to court and sue him for damages and stuff. But I don't agree with, you know, kicking him off of every social media platform out there, especially when he hasn't really done anything huge He's at this moment. He's been warned multiple times. And by right? the way, uh, uh, people keep spamming it, and I'm just going to say, I heard TJ got banned from Twitter today. I don't agree with it at all, oh, fuck. and I think it's bullshit. That's my statement on it, that and sucks. we'll move on. Our, our good buddy Endless Jess got banned from Twitter yesterday. What? Uh, he messaged Twitter and said, if you keep sending, if you keep showing me other people's liked tweet, tweets, 
I'm going to come to your office, oh, cut off well. all your heads, and burn oh, it to the it. ground. Go ahead and ban me. I don't give a shit. And well, there you go. <laughs> okay. I felt bad for him up until you explained the situation. <laughs> yeah, he asked for it. Holy shit. <sighs> yeah, I, I think that the, the situation is is it's kind of funny because I think that Alex Jones is a horrible person. As and as as an individual, I'm like whatever, dude. Like fuck this guy. He's just a weird ass fucking crazy person. But. Um, that's, that's sort of my, like my feeling as a, as a person, just me and, and him as a person, um, and his organization and everything that he's done and, and the shit that is, that he's, uh, sort of put the Sandy Hook families through is really fucked and they are taking him to court. Thank goodness. But that's, that should be their problem. Right. Um, yeah. the thing, the thing that I think is, is the most concerning part of it. And I talked about this in the video that I put out this morning was that, um, I am, or I would not be shocked if some of the more um maybe maybe influential voices in the liberal blogosphere on the internet would equate people like alex jones to very moderate mainstream conservative voices, like people like ben shapiro like i feel like like there isn't much of a separation between a ben shapiro or a megan kelly and alex jones in the minds of some people that are part of that like blue check mark liberal journalist world and if that's the case then I can see this becoming very, very dangerous, um, even for people who are incredibly reasonable and incredibly moderate, because um, th there doesn't seem to be a lot of separation. And we see that in, in like um, Stephen Crowder was defending himself because this journalist had labeled him alt right, and then when he brought her on the show to explain why um, uh, that he, that, he, that he's not alt right and that the alt right is an actual organization with card carrying members and that he is not a part of it, um, she said, "Oh well," it, like she was essentially saying to, to the to the note of, "It's a sort of an abstract." idea a label that we assign sort of to you because of what what we see you as and so that like rings um i mean like she said it herself head. it sounds like like that just means it's a bunch of horse shit you yeah, made I mean, it up it's objective and, 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 not and, you me and yeah. i haven't applied it to myself no, not to mention the f oh go ahead um, I was just going to say, not to mention the fact that a, a huge portion of the alt-right is anti-Jewish so why would Ben Shapiro be part of them I, I mean, yeah, of course. So, well, but but oh, that's not that's not even like that, that's not going to cross their mind. The thing is that they see these entities or like terms like alt right, and I think that they've created a boogeyman of what the right wing is, and they put a lot of people, maybe like Alex Jones, in the same camps as very mainstream like um, uh, Republicans or or conservatives who are just online, like Ben Shapiro or like Stephen Crowder or maybe some, like a fucking like day show host like Megyn Kelly or something. Um, th that there is no delineation between them, whereas I think. There should be. I don't think that Alex Jones is is um, a responsible news source, nor I nor do I see him as a, a responsible political thinker. Um, nor do I would I ever put him in the same camp as someone like Ben Shapiro. Um, I just think that if these companies, which I th I'm confident in saying are generally more um, left leaning, come from left leaning parts of the world, or are sort of dominated by people who are left leaning, and, and, and they're welcome to be right. That, that's entirely their prerogative, and there's nothing wrong with that. I just um, I'm worried that at some point this will bleed into if we can justify removing this man from our um, from our from our platforms, um, which I guess again they're welcome to do, because he is no different than these other right wingers, and you know there there's the same justification exists. Although I think that YouTube had like a very funny political reason for for banning him in that like they had given him a community strike, and then he tried to stream on another account, and that's strictly against the rules. So like boom, we got him kind of a thing wow. so they, i think they were a little bit more something they would about. never penalize anyone for unless they wanted to get rid of them yeah it was definitely like like a it was it was definitely like a political power move for them i could it was very obvious that that's what it was it's like as soon as they he broke this obscure rule that i don't i didn't even know existed boom he's gone he's done so here's so a question they, Here, here's a question and i've i've argued with people about this in the past do you think that a private company like twitter should be beholden to free speech laws that even though ultimately as a so. private company they should decide so, you know, so you're I, okay I, with them banning whoever they want I i'm not i'm not okay with it but okay. i don't i don't think that um that they should that be like beholden free to, market? to the first amendment well, yeah, yeah. Because, I, think, because, I think they should be able to ban whoever they want i, I think agree. that more people need to if people have a problem with it people need to actually mobilize on moving from the platform like exactly it, it's well, somehow, which this could be the catalyst for that. You know, I mean, Alex Jones is not short on resources and viewers. From anything, though. Like, there's been a lot of things that should be the catalyst. And, like, I think if we all moved to fucking blockchain, we would circumvent this entirely. But it's just the technology isn't isn't being supported enough yet. Like, 
There's a site called DTube that is a alternative to YouTube. You can see a nod, and so I'm guessing you guys probably mentioned it before or something. Yes. But, uh, yeah, it, like, I tried to use DTube because YouTube, I have lots of copyright issues on YouTube using anime clips and shit. And, uh, like, so I, I tried to go there, and the problem with DTube is just that, like, as soon as anyone had heard of it, it immediately was, like, overloaded and couldn't be done. And, like, the guy who runs it was just like, yeah, I need more people running the servers. And it's like, not enough people are even aware of alternatives or what we could be doing. And it's just going to take a huge push and a particularly huge one because complacency is why everyone's on YouTube in the first place. It's the ease of the subscription feed. You know, with Twitter, it's like, oh, well, everyone I know is on Twitter. So why would I go somewhere else? But like, literally, all you have to do to kill Twitter and YouTube is to stop using it. If enough people stop using it, it is dead because that's the like, content creators can't make money on it anymore. So that's like saying if enough people vote, if enough people vote, third party will have a third party president someday. It's right. just getting getting the the amount of people necessary to do that is the hard part because people people right. are people want to do what's popular. So everyone uses YouTube; they're all going to use YouTube. I I still don't know what caused the mass exodus from MySpace to Facebook. But that just happened like magic one day. I don't even I know. I mean, the thing is that, like, sometimes it's subtle stuff. Like, sometimes these websites will just, they'll change something they don't think is a big deal that secretly is the only reason anyone was there. And and then the alternative springs up, and it's just better in some unique... Like, I think with MySpace, the main appeal of it was that for younger people, they could really shape their identity there because you could customize it so much. And, like, for older people, that just made it a confusing mess that they didn't know how to navigate. So when Facebook came by and it was just streamlined and easy, old people got on board. And when all of them were on there, young people were like, I guess we have to be on here, too. And then young My people moved to Tumblr, which lets you do that customization and also has, like, better sharing abilities and more ability to, like, you know, make posts as opposed to just a page. So... You know, I think social media killed MySpace because MySpace wasn't good social media. It didn't have, like, that feed effect of, like, everyone MySpace I know is just on my wall, you know? MySpace had a built-in social currency with the Top 8 program. Like, when, when you had your Top 8 and you were in someone's Top 8, it was, like, it was big deal. I fucking yeah. forgot about that. But yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. And then they moved it to a Top 40. They devalued their fucking social currency. Yeah. Like, I don't give a fuck if I'm in someone's top 40. It was the top eight I and cared about. it can about. be as simple as that. Like, that's enough to make it, like, if if top eight was, like, the thing that people cared about and you take it away, your platform's worthless now. And, like, sometimes you can't even predict that that's going to be the case. But, but I think that you brings up a really good point with, like, I think age is what killed MySpace. Because when I came home from middle school to essentially learn coding for hours to get that perfect, like, hip-hop is life background that I had for whatever amount of time I had in MySpace. And and, and try to get the, the fucking weird, like, Flash game that I had made to, yep. like, work on. The, like, it was an incredibly elaborate process that I must have spent dozens of hours over the course of a few years customizing. When I started going to high school... And and I was in AP classes, and I was in varsity tennis, and I was in the drum line, and I was in jazz, and I was doing all this stuff. And, and, I, and my days were literally 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. on campus. I didn't want to have to deal with that shit. So Facebook was fantastic because I could just build my information, and then boom, just like that. It's, it's Everybody an was uniform. Everybody oh, yeah. was the same on, on Facebook. Yep. It was socialism in action. When I, when <laughs> I first heard about Facebook, you could only join it if you had a university email address. In the early days of Facebook, it was only yeah. open to college students that had, like, you know, uh, an email address domain at a university. But, like, in really the chat, weird. they're saying the UI for MySpace is ugly or was yeah. ugly and yeah. the ui for facebook was so clean now facebook has the myspace problem and that the facebook ui is poisoned to the eyes it's so painful to look at i, I can't stand it i haven't logged on, on a facebook in maybe two years but anytime that i find myself there advertisements promotions so many lists of, of things the left side of the screen is stuff that i have no idea about i don't know what any of these groups are i'm just like this is fucked instagram right now is my favorite uh social media Absolutely. I wonder what Black Planet is like these days. Black Planet. Black Planet. Yeah, that was like the urban MySpace. Oh, okay. Is that like it was cool? Is that like Black Christian Mingle? <laughs> I I don't think it was. It, it was like MySpace, but it was specifically like like hip hop MySpace. Okay. It was rap MySpace. Interesting. 
<laughs> here's a here's a, a Fox News clip featuring Rosie O'Donnell, so you know it has right, to be Rosie good. Rosie O'Donnell taking or talking to the media and the microphone to resist Donald Trump should not be president and i don't believe that he's a legitimate president we are uh yeah sorry he's a legitimate president like him or not he won fair we don't and square. know that yet just we don't know oh whatever we don't know ben. whatever they're, Come on. they're building warned, a case Uganda. ben I, I i heard that his uh birth certificate <laughs> is fake yeah I, well i saw the short form one but i don't believe the long form one exists yeah yeah so <laughs> Live, awake, and we are woke. People are embarrassed are and ashamed woke. of who he is, and that come election. After after mm. years of feuding with Donald Trump, I don't think anyone was more butt hurt than Trump, or uh, than Rosie O'Donnell when Trump won. <laughs> no, she, well, him and Rosie had that feud for so long. That's what I'm saying. Could you imagine like if like your yeah, if yeah. your worst enemy like publicly became fucking president how how hard would that be to deal with you know now all of a sudden they have all this power that's why i have a respect for all the racists when obama came in <laughs> no. there's gonna be a quote there's gonna be a quote <laughs> Damn it. billy the fridge add that to billy the fridge's awesome quotes don't do that don't take me out of context again guys that was this not out of context this is the type of shit that gets alex jones banned okay just stop <laughs> it, is it weird we're that, going like for a split second, when Rosie O'Donnell came on screen, I'm like, why is Roseanne Barr at an anti-Trump Oh, protest? my God. <laughs> oh, I, man, I you know literally what? can't tell them apart. Let's, let's, let's be fair. Donald Trump is probably a little a, a little above Rosie's pay grade right now. Like, he's, he's the fucking president. She kind of missed that boat. She shouldn't be boxing with the God. They should just pit her against Roseanne Barr. Rosie O'Donnell versus Roseanne Barr. And that could be the new <laughs> feud, man. It could be like when... when uh, See the quote? <laughs> Look, dude. <laughs> you did say that. That was taken out February of context. February 2nd, 2018. Yeah. He, he said was, that at that anime theater show, right? When he went to go see the movie. And then the guy actually, got, like, that was before. He was like, you did? Yeah. The, oh. anime, the anime was on uh, the Valentine's Day. So that was two weeks before I said I went to that fucking pedo-ass anime. In the theaters. I couldn't believe it. I don't remember the name of it. It was like a whole bunch of girls that they... It's Bible Black. They're like dead or something. Maybe they're orphans. I don't, it was so hard to follow. Uh, give me like, any like visual detail that I can fucking figure <laughs> out. About, <laughs> yeah. About uh, 52 minutes into the movie, they're, they were all in there with their tops off. Uh, and they they went from looking like they were 16 to when they were naked. They looked like they were 12. It was fucking weird, dude. Okay, I don't well, know what it was. That's, that's, girls that's a lot of anime you're Is that a lot of anime? Girls girls problem, sure. this is why, Can you tell me what the plot was about? Was there a plot? I, I don't remember. It was so dreadful. And then I, I was like checking out on my phone because of how terrible it was until I looked up and there's like underage girls naked. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with this? Well, look, I want to see this movie, so I need you to go ahead and tell me well, what happened. It had a limited <laughs> release through Fathom Events February 14th, 2018. I'm oh my sure god, we'll was it the theatrical this. re-release of Spirited Away? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I wish. I, I tried to catch Princess Mononoke or whatever uh, last month. I just month. did. It was fucking my, phenomenal. My car broke down on the way to the theater. It sucked. Oh, that sucks. I'm going to take my screwed. girlfriend to go see Grave of the Fireflies just because I want to watch her cry. It's on my birthday, but I'm going to be out of town, so I don't know if I'll be able to see it. Incidentally, oh. I've got a uh, self-promotion. i got a podcast called Ghibli Cast where me and my friends talk <laughs> for two hours, deep dive, analyzing all the Ghibli movies. We did Grave of the Fireflies. Great time. Is it pronounced Ghibli? It's actually pronounced Ghibli. Okay, because that's what I've been calling. I've been saying Studio Ghibli, but without the accent. I've been like Studio Ghibli, like that's what I've been saying. And now you're saying Ghibli, and I'm like, okay. Opening a dishonor. Ghibli. Is that racist? I think so, but you know care. what? <laughs> According to Hulk Hogan, we're all a little bit racist. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm gonna stand up at the polls and let him know. Rosie got soul. She's not. Is she Wait. clapping on one and three? This white bitch? Wait, yeah. what, is, what is happening in this? Is, this is an anti Trump thing? Why are they singing yeah. church hymns? I don't understand. I think this is uh, the new the new cr summer craze wokey mom go. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now they got three skinny bitches to talk shit about Rosie. Oh, I'm gonna love what this. What is it that why can't people have differences? Why is there so much hatred? Why is that happening? I, I think like people odd. absolutely can have differences, and as you pointed out, They're there the, the protest. Same woman. Yeah, Rosie O'Donnell was partaking in, and they call it the Kremlin Annex, which has been going on for weeks now, uh, organized by the head of Hillary Clinton's uh, grassroots organization project, uh, has been completely, uh, completely peaceful uh, about the communication of ideas and about showing President Trump that there are a number of Americans out there uh, who are not a fan of him or his policies and will be showing up on the polls in November and also today. If you're So I, I saw you make a post on Twitter recently. Uh, real about how how you think it's going to be a red wave oh i i don't know man i'm not a were you trolling analyst, but i i just i think that um my the, the pulse that i feel on uh, on on american culture right now is is that i expected after the uh, the trump victory and after the sort of like conservative um oh conservatism is a new cool sort of wave died down which i thought was going to happen that things would flip again I, th I thought that like the, the pendulum would swing more. Maybe it's still on its way, but it's moving a lot more slowly than I expected. I still yeah. I still feel like the general consensus is like like when I can like pretty much openly joke about like feminists with my coworkers and everyone like in agreement with me and laughs in a choir. I'm like this is weird. Like this would not have been okay a few years ago. You know, like it, I, I don't know. Like it just it I feels like we're still not there yet. I think a big part of it is where um, I think that the left was more libertarian before and that made it more comfortable for a lot of americans who are america is an inherently libertarian country like the whole fucking foundation of the goddamn thing is about freedom so at the base level most americans are pretty into that and when i was growing up i grew up in an in a extremely left household but like freedom of speech and expression was like number one thing anybody cared about and like leftist comedians used to be very pro-free speech even guys who are all like white guilt now like louis ck like originally his fucking bits were about how it's okay to say faggot because it means something different to him and like that was only well, 10 like, years ago so like, yeah and now and now for, like, and now they they the hate him like, you know oh well, yeah, he, yeah he's now they do because yeah, he's, he's there's you know, yeah, no, he's not for so. related reasons to his uh politics though uh but you know it, it used to be that the left was more like free speech advocacy and the right yeah. was perceived as like these conservative Christians who were like afraid of the word fuck. And like, you know, now that that pull shift has happened, I think is why it's no longer like cool to be left because the left just seemed like a bunch of fucking huge pussies. And I think that with like, um, with, with like headline outrage culture and a lot of these like, um, more left leaning, um, blogosphere uh i don't know like, like internet op-ed, like career journalists, um, you know, putting out these, 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 uh, headlines constant people only read the headlines right in the front of their opinions it's like oh why your favorite fast and the furious movie oppresses jews and like it's like oh god <laughs> and then that's that's sort of like yeah. I, for, for in general like there's this per prevailing notion that nothing can pass without outrage now and i think that although this isn't ubiquitous i think that a lot of people attribute that to can't read that like mainstream liberalism and i, I think that's going to hurt culturally the perception of the left in um in in the political sphere coming up to the the midterm election i think that we have to get a little bit i don't know maybe a little bit closer i want to look at polls that's still important i know that they, they didn't really mean anything in the, in the general but I, I still have faith yeah. in that um i i need to we need to get closer but i just don't think that we're gonna see the blue wave i i do think however that the republicans are gonna lose seats i just don't think they're gonna lose very much. yeah yeah they're, they're gonna lose seats uh, but the problem with uh, the presidential race, at least, is we needed some sort of hero to stand up by now and be the the, the blue the, the the blue party leader. We need we don't have anybody. It we, can't we be had, Bernie. Well, He's too old. Not we, but but but, but like the Bernie was the hero, and now if yeah. you look at how the left looks at Bernie, he's been crucified, and it, it blows my mind because he's not like democratic socialist enough. It, it's sort of like the, the thing. Uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez seems to be the favorite, but I think she's like, there's no way they're going to run her in the general. They're going to run Cory Booker or something. Um, but the, the hero himself has been has been cast aside and demonized, um, which which to me 
is just mind blowing because the the passion and the fervor behind Bernie during the uh, the midterm or the uh, sorry the God what do you call them um, the the primaries the primaries yeah. yeah the primaries um the 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 just raw passion for him has completely turned around into into what looks like loathing and 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 now he's just been discarded and, and so that blows my mind so yeah there is no like oh yeah that dude is presidential material that dude can run a real race and i, I just i don't see him you know i don't see that, what the that fuck guy do you or that keep girl. trying to show what are you doing this oh was my the God, anime you saw magical girl lyrical nanoha theaters well yeah. i understand why you thought it was a pedophile uh, movie because because <laughs> oh. it is there's a reason I like it so long. <laughs> <laughs> I have a whole I have a whole series of videos on YouTube about the Nanoha uh, series. It's a three parter. If anybody wants a full deep dive analysis <laughs> of the movie he watched and was disgusted by, I've got a bunch oh, of videos about it. <laughs> I want a deep dive. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, the, I think it was the month or two before this. I went and saw uh, the Howl's Moving Castle. Yeah. And that was great. I love that. That's that's Lir the first Lir anime movie I watched. It's funny to me that it would even be broadcast in America because it is like very like off the deep end otaku anime shit. Like uh, it is like fubu otaku fucking madness. Um, not <laughs> something any anyone if if you're not generally into anime already, like in a big way, you should not be at that movie at all. Yeah, it was terrible. Uh, yeah, it's but it's not even a good Thanks, movie. Mems. Hey, yeah. Mems, thank you so much, and thanks for watching. I saw her in the chat, too. And kiss, she's oh, the that sweetest. Memory kiss, your yeah. big, kiss your big sweet boy for getting the PewDiePie nod today. That was cute yeah. watching that. Yeah, I guess Jeff Holiday oh. was featured on PewDiePie's channel. What? Yeah, he was the hero. <laughs> what in God's name? He was the hero in the story of the Jilly Juice. Yeah, it's about Jilly Juice. No fucking way, yeah. dude. This is the biggest thing that could have happened like, out of this. That's <laughs> he gets he gets on Doctor Phil, and he gets a, like a, a nod from PewDiePie in like yeah. the span of three months. Yeah, that's pretty good. Jeff Holiday is killing it, dude. He I'm is. So Jeff Holiday. <laughs> and, <laughs> a friend of ours. He's part of the like skeptic uh, YouTuber community. He does a lot of um, he does a lot of like uh, pseudoscience debunking kind of thing. Yeah. His his like his niche is I think a lot more interesting than most of what like people like us do. I think his like, yeah. his stuff is super cool. So. And Shout he's out. a chill bro, like beyond all of his video stuff. He's just a fun guy to hang out with, and and I know this for a fact. If you pick a fight in a strip club, he will have your back, even if you're a hundred percent wrong for picking that fight. <laughs> if you're his bud, he's, he's you're man. his bud. Yeah, <laughs> he's, one of the, he's one of the best friends that has come out of my time on YouTube. So I'm I'm just super grateful for him. So everybody, go find Jeff Holiday on YouTube and. Uh, don't subscribe. Just dislike all his videos. <laughs> That's how you keep your friends down. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> but uh, as far as this whole Rosie O'Donnell thing goes, um, I don't think she's cool enough to really be helping at this point. No. Um, I, I think. I think right now we need somebody cool. We need. We need a voice that is going to make the left cool again. Because like, we have. Anita Sarkeesian and all these people who made it very uncool. Like, w w thought crime is a big thing right now. Yeah, the, I, the left needs to stop propagating people that are just trying to destroy everything that everybody just loves all the time. Like, like stop going after superhero movies. Stop going after people's fucking video games, right? Like, there's just... That is such a weird hill to die on for people like Anita Sarkeesian and other of these blue check marks on Twitter and stuff. It, it, it just... It's so strange to me how how much I or how eager it seems that a lot of them are to demonize um, things that people are just very passionate and, and enthusiastic about. And maybe it's it's this like I want to look at this thing that is generally loved and and I want to apply some kind of really strong critical thinking and look at it in a different way. I can, I can appreciate that, but generally it it ends up being a video game journalist writing in a sense about how much they hate video game culture. And yeah. everyone's just, uh, and then that's that seems to be the, the the theme that is repeating over and over again. You're not going to win hearts and minds by telling people that that fucking that Bloodborne was racist. I mean, like, <laughs> no one's gonna no one's gonna like that. 
wait yeah is that a real and, stance no 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 that was me just okay. yeah, yeah. But, but telling people that like uh star wars is is toxic masculinity or or blade runner is toxic masculinity you're going back in time to something people decisively love in a part of history where yeah you know it was different times the yeah. pushing a girl up against the wall and and forcing your tongue down her throat it was a Hollywood fucking uh, maneuver that a lot of guys would use in movies. And it, it looked hot at the time. And now it's a little fucking creepy. But we can't go back and 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 chastise these things people love for the way it was then. Like, we can yeah. do everything we can to point it out now in current media. And, and it fucking sucks that, that they have opportunities with this all-female Ghostbuster cast. And they couldn't just make a fucking solid movie. Like they, yeah. they, they 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 get they get to go to bat and and uh, the Wonder Woman. Uh, the only reason Wonder Woman was such a fucking success was because it was so much better than every other DC movie that came out. But the third act of that film was garbage. Garbage. It was so trash. Mm -hmm. And I want I want them to have a win, you know. And and I I will give them the Wonder Woman win because it was so much better than every other shit trash superhero film that DC put out. But we need somebody to come to bat with this with this ideal in mind and create some sort of media that is undeniably good. Guys are not just hating the Ghostbusters because it's all women. Like they, they might hate it at first, but That's if the it would have been good. I enjoyed it, but I enjoy terrible movies, and I knew it was a terrible movie when I enjoyed it. I was like, "This is a bad movie," but I'm I'm in for it. Christopher Hemsworth is cute. You do like a bunch of terrible movies. Oh, I do. Let's uh, let's watch a little bit of this video. Here's uh, some Did Trump. Did members of the Trump campaign commit a oh, crime? First from the Fox News deck this Monday Howdy afternoon, the White House is shifting narratives on his Smith. Trump Tower meeting. President Trump admitting again, this time on Twitter. The infamous now sit down with a Russian with ties to the Kremlin at Trump Tower was set up so that the campaign could get dirt on Hillary Clinton. Analysts say that could be a crime. Under federal law 52 U.S.C. 30121, it is unlawful for a foreign national to contribute anything of value to an election campaign. And under that same code, Define conspiring with someone. What'd you say? Define of value. Yeah, you know that that language is kind of open to interpretation. There, um, I, think, I, I think that's on purpose, right? Like it's openly vague. It has to be, I think. Because yeah, it's like because then then if it, it's too specific, then it's very easy to get around it. So, so I mean, like legal language and legal lingo is going to be that way. Um, so if I guess now what they would have to prove is like what did the Trump campaign receive and how did it affect the outcome of his campaign and and if it can be demonstrated that there was a desirable effect then boom you got well, it. they actively had a meeting to get the information right so like that's 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 stating that it's worth enough value to set up a meeting for it someone wasn't just like hey look at this we have this shit like they had to go make this happen there was cons some conspiracy going on here I, I agree I think, this, I think this looks terrible i think this is so bad yeah. <laughs> and didn't donald trump already like sell out his son for being a part of it like he's he's no he's like donald trump jr is like oh no i i had no idea he was fucking doing this all on his own he's like i, I think, already I think the son was discovered to have been a part mm. of it and then he like then i think trump and i could be getting that completely wrong so chad okay. like you know fuck me in the ass if you if you can <laughs> uh but i'm pretty I'm, the way that i remember it was that it was discovered like in some emails that trump jr was a part of it and then trump was like yeah that was him not me so threw him under the bus later. Um, but yeah. the, one way or another, this is all like, this went from there was no collusion to like, hey, is collusion even that bad? It's like, yeah, what's what's going on? <laughs> it's it's you can't deny the fact that Donald Trump is a fucking liar, and he has been the entire yeah, but time. Politicians are liars but in general. The, some of them at least take the time to try and cover it up. He's just like. He literally said, "I could shoot somebody in this room right now, and the audience would have my back." You know, like I shoot somebody uh, <laughs> on, on, just on postmodern. Yeah. He's just a postmodern yeah. politician. He's a post. I like that. I really like that. It's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> such a contribution approach. is Knowingly. also unlawful. Whether the meeting constituted a crime has not yet been resolved. Remember who was there: Donald Trump Jr., the first son-in-law Jared Kushner, the campaign chairman Paul Manafort. And five Damn. others, including... And we know Manafort's in deep shit right now, mm -hmm. so... They'll, they'll come for all of them. They'll work their way up the chain 
until they get Trump, that, if they can. That, that dude on the right looks like the dude on the left's dad. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, it goes deep. Yeah, oh. like, like, it looks they like do. I'm looking at Charlie and Martin Sheen right now. That's how I. Feel. They have those noses. It's probably just because they have coke nostrils. But that, yeah, because I do see, I do see Donald though when I look at him. Oh, too. totally. Yeah. So. The, it's that like, chin, or it's the absence of chin. Right. The, 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 the cheek structure, like even in Ivanka, like there's no denying how hot she is, but she got she got a bit of a Trump face. Oh, shit, is that one of Trump's sons who I just said that? Yeah, about? yeah, on yeah. the far left. Yeah, like, that's don't know who anyone is on planet fucking Earth. <laughs> you can't tell somebody unless they have big anime eyes. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> actually true. All I look at is anime. I don't even have you. Eight you are autistic. Twelve year old. Is, is that? Kid. Is there some sort of autism in your in in, in your in your bod? Like in your bod. Do you do you think that any of us who are on the internet are not on the autistic spectrum? I'm All not. Of you know, All of my I'm definitely. Yeah. <laughs> do you, Do you know what people are calling Digibro? They're calling him the the skinny American Sargon clone. What? I saw, do I look like Sargon? <laughs> a, little, a, a bit, yeah. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. I shouldn't have come here. I don't think your facial structure resembles Sargon. I think just your facial hair and your hair. Yeah. 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 You look like Soygon. Yeah. And to be Soy fair. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Sorry, Ben. <laughs> most most Ben's of Sargon's is face popping. is hair, so I, I think that it's yeah. really hard to afford that. <laughs> I have to go look at a picture of Sargon and see if I agree with this. <laughs> he looks Sargon, like Al okay. from Home Improvement. Can we admit that Sargon has beautiful eyes? That motherfucker has like yes. disgustingly beautiful eyes. Fuck that guy. Yeah. yeah oh yeah. He's He's baby nice, blue. Soft, beautiful eyes. I, I must look just like him because I also have beautiful. beautiful baby <laughs> you have those anime yeah. eyes. Yeah. Ooh, desu desu kawaii. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you seen uh, Sargon's Hey, Jesse's forearms? on the screen. What the hell's that about? That's like, yeah. He's one of our gifts. <laughs> have you seen Sargon's <laughs> forearms? Like his forearm grip strength looks like he could tear a bear apart. Just yeah. He's no. got a dad bod. He's got a big old like wood cut cutter. I bet that's what he does when he's not making YouTube videos. Put him in a red flannel. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Al Borland. Jesus. Wood Oof. dad bun? <laughs> gotta change yeah. the subject. Oof. Red flannel, <laughs> button down halfway, big ass hatchet in one oh. hand. Just, yeah. just a safari of chest hair protruding. Put, oh. <laughs> <laughs> put, put him on the roll of paper towels. Oh. There's a forest <laughs> fire in my loins. I need him to chop it out. UKIP brand paper towels. <laughs> UKIP. The stutter's I heard you back. like I UKIP. I think I have to take care of something. <laughs> 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 Bringing it back. That's comedy, baby. Nice. <laughs> so, real. It's it's getting to be seven. Are you? Do you got to get going? Or I, I do got to get going. I got to go help my, uh, my family with uh, with groceries and other like adult responsibilities. So, uh, <sighs> I I really do appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for having me on, and thank you to the oh, chat yeah. for being uh, for being fantastic. Except for that one guy that said that I'm really stuck up and full of myself. You're not wrong. <laughs> but the only reason you think that is because you're threatened at how much better looking I am than you. Work on yourself. Go to the gym. Get a better job. Start start like reading books and becoming more entertaining and fun. And I promise you, you'll thank me later. You're a piece of shit now, but you can transform your life. You yeah. just gotta try a little bit harder. Try a little bit harder. That's it. Yeah. That's, all I, that's all I gotta say. That's coming from a man who cucked around at university on the Marxist level. Oh, okay. you yeah. <laughs> oh no, no. I, he, he I have to rearrange everything he here. He changed. Uh, oh my god, dude, you have no idea how much <laughs> like like women are into you when you're like, yeah, the fucking toxic masculine structure of white supremacist <laughs> patriarchal capitalist society. Oh my oh, god, yeah. they eat that shit up. That's the that's my, that's, I'll that's tell you why. right now, my fiance would fucking stab me if I had said any of those things there. <laughs> Well, that's why so many uh, the, the feminist men turn out to be creeps, right? Like they, they're always being outed as being these like pervs, and it's because they're only using it because it's like fucking roofies at this point. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, this guy's this guy respects me. I'm gonna let him all over my face. And on that note, the final piece of advice I'll give you is to make sure you constantly roofie women. Thank you. <laughs> well, that that's, sounds like one of my quotes. Yeah, somebody make one of those quotes, please. And, and here I'll give you a. <laughs> Basically, you can cut it out. Yeah, cool. All right, guys. Thank you. All right, later. You have a good one. All right, peace out. And All everybody right. who's sticking with Let's us. See. Everybody well, who's sticking like with us. Guys. Yeah, I got to fix it. There we go. Now you're back. Hey. And uh, I'm going to read some of the some of the stream labs that came in, and then we'll move on with some of the other stuff. 
Uh, some random for five dollars. Proof of work crypto uses way, way too much power to be viable beyond toy currencies. I uh, I don't know what that was referring to, but is he does he mean like literal like power? Like does it take up a lot of electricity to make a cryptocurrency? I, I don't know. It what does the about. mining the mining takes up a lot of electricity to mine crypto. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dex Luther five dollars. Albino blacks like me are the most oppressed. Give me money. Hmm. No, that's huh. how about true. this? Keep giving us money and we'll think about it. They uh, fucking eat those guys in Africa. Super Inhuman, $2. It's loop time. I don't know what that means either. Uh, PT Ham, $30. Have some cash, guys. Thank you. And we read the one from Mems earlier. Um, $3. I can't take anyone who considers himself woke seriously. It's pretty much saying, I know what is right and anyone else is wrong. Well, and, and woke's just become another buzzword like yeah. swag, and uh, and uh, I don't know what was the one um, uh, bling bling. Woke is just that, but with with the idea that you're you're smart instead of flashy I, or you cool. Know, I I like the woke. I like woke as a meme because I think that it it's what it's suggesting is a good thing. I think if you if you just like stop the buck and you're like I'm woke now because I know what I know. That's not woke. To be woke is to constantly be learning things. You you have woken up. Your eyes are open, and you must yeah. take new information. That's constantly. the idea. But, That's the idea. Know. But to be but to have swag. All right. The, the, somebody originally had to be cool as fuck to have swag, but then all right. these little biters just pretended to be cool because swag was cool. They're just pretending yeah. to be woke because woke is cool. They don't know shit from fucking uh, sugar. Hey, is your oh, friend? It, is your fan base known as Fridge Magnets? Because I just saw a hashtag Fridge Magnets. They're my Fridge Magnets. Yeah, because they like, stick to you. That's like the the, the more the more lovable uh, brand of uh, fan is the you know, Fridge Magnets. I, I didn't want to make him feel uncomfortable because I like him a lot, but I, I, I could have just started like this crazy, weird, awkward uh, thing here because the, the guy that we just had on, he's buddies with Maddox, like personal buddies with Maddox. So really, yeah. That, so that was funny when you came on with the Dick Masterson shirt, and I was like, oh, hey, you know, I'm yeah, I'm buds with Maddox. Yeah, you say that you're buds with Martin Shkreli and all these other. Well, I'm actually guys. I'm actually close friends with Martin Shkreli, right? Like that's my bud. I, I should have saw my mom's it. face I when I told to her you were friends Maddox with Martin Shkreli. Did she light up? Uh, no. Oh, she didn't. <laughs> no. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Uh, Sweet Onion Boy, $5. So Billy is pedo keto? <laughs> no. No. Cool, let's get a quote. <laughs> I don't want. Uh uh-uh. uh. Nope. Nope. Um, Digi Bro, tell them about JoJo. Tell us about JoJo. Oh, you guys would probably like JoJo. It's just like a really badass, hyper masculine anime. Um, It was originally a a manga series that started in the 80s that was just, like, a bunch of fucking huge dudes beating the shit out of each other, and, like, but it's got really, like, really insane violence, like, the kind of shit that's, like, really creative and fucked, Um, but it's, like, also kind of for kids, so it's, like, really goofy and wacky but over-the-top violent. Uh, They finally started making it an anime series, like, five years ago, and everyone, it's, it's everyone in the West's favorite fucking thing in the world, so, um... You know, if you just like hyper masculine violent bullshit, uh, it is definitely a way to go. Sounds like uh, sounds like professional wrestling. It's hyper very mas- much like professional <laughs> wrestling. Also, every character is named after like seventies and eighties prog bands. So like you'll have characters running around named like King Crimson and like Killer Queen or Oingo Boingo and stuff. Just like oh my god, pretty cool. You you're an anime like guru. Is that safe? Yeah, a connoisseur. Yeah, I would say guru even, not just connoisseur. I would say guru. I, I like, think it's fair to say I know more about anime than anyone else who talks about it on the internet. Oh wow! With the exception of people who have smaller audiences than me, so I, too niche. I have <laughs> a question. I have a question, and you may or may not know the answer. I'm assuming I, – I, I, I want the answer to be something particular, but I'm not sure. I, I watched an anime clip once on the internet, and it was like two girls fighting with like their tits and asses and pussy. It was like a sex battle, hey, but they weren't, they weren't fucking, though. They were just like no. – the, their boobs would do punch moves and stuff. Yes. Is, 
is that like one anime or is there an entire genre of this stuff out there? Unfortunately, that is one anime. Uh, It's just a show about like a made up fictional sport of ass battle. Um, But they use the boobs too, right? Like, dude, will you stop? What? Can we get on fucking topic for once? Okay. They're they're on like, they're on like platforms above water and they're trying to knock each other into the water. So it's just like, it's just that kind of game, but you can use whatever, you know, body part. The, the cushier body parts are the ones that are best for knocking people overboard, basically. It, All right. It's not really worth watching, honestly. You probably would I just not like really the clip. enjoying it that much. I was I'll, hoping there was more to it. I'll tell you what. We're gonna uh, we're gonna try switch mode. The next time we get a twenty dollars Streamlabs, Billy and I are going to switch personalities. <laughs> I don't have it set up where we're gonna switch spots yet on the Damn. screen. Damn, Ben. But but we'll uh <clears throat> We'll try so it. So does that mean he's going to just start rapping? Like, is that what has to happen? Well, no, no. Uh, he's going to act like he's PMSing and uh, pissed off and saying um and yeah a lot yeah. and that kind of stuff. And that kind of stuff. Yeah, and, uh, like that. <laughs> oh, and I'm going to bring up. Hernia. I'm going to bring up <laughs> stupid, irrelevant bullshit that has nothing to do with what we're talking about, and talk about how I like shitty movies. And then when someone challenges the bullshit I'm saying, I'll go, what? Like that. Inappropriate. Did you guys know that I am a self-described cringecore rapper as well? No. <laughs> as well. As well as Billy. Oh, oh right? I just meant out in, in addition to what I am. Oh, I, I oh, okay. literally label myself oh. my stuff as cringecore. Oh. Yeah, Finn, Finn, we'll have you on. Uh, we'll have you on later. That wasn't 20 bucks, though, so I'm not counting that. <laughs> But yes, Finn, we we'll have you on in a little bit here. I'll I'll have you on later. Once we get a little bit closer towards the end, we'll have, I'll bring you on, man. Uh, what are we gonna do next? Freestyle rap battle. Let's, uh, let, you know what? I can't. Okay, I had an issue with YouTube the other day. They allowed someone to monetize one of our videos, and they didn't tell me what the content was that uh that we used like they wouldn't give me the name of it or the timestamp, and i contact youtube's live chat and they were just kind of like sorry contact the the claimant it's like okay give me a way to contact them <laughs> oh i don't have that sorry so it was just a bunch of bullshit but then Dude, i caused a big so i caused a big enough stink about it on twitter that i ended up getting an unsolicited email from youtube oh, wow. about it and they were like, sorry about your experience. This is actually what the claim was for and everything. And you know what it is? It's the fucking X-Files theme song. So uh, For the paranormal? For, for the uh, crazy people. Oh, crazy people. Yeah. We wow. got a claim. Wow. Only the- one? That's scary, dude. Yeah. Did you- what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> so... That's scary. Gee, uh, listen, to Billy, listen to Billy. Listen to Billy. You know what? Billy's the kind of guy that would get robbed and be like, "You only took fifty dollars." No, from because me? like I thought. I <laughs> hope you know I have a thousand on me somewhere. <laughs> listen, I thought everything was mechanical. Oh my god! I thought everything was mechanical. No, because the, the it CBS, can be manually found. I thought, okay, so wow, what the? F- Whoa, that's scary, dude. Yeah. I, so I just I just experienced the same thing um, yesterday because one of my uh, like a two part video of mine had gotten taken down by an anime distribution company called Sentai Filmworks and I just uh, like they gave me a strike. I did a counter notification and it just said your counter notification was rejected. Which right like when you submit it, they tell you that it's a legal action and that they have to sue you or give you back your video. That does not matter anymore. So I tweeted about it and just got like a shitload of people to to at the company and they finally like they like added me on Twitter and were like, "Hey, s- slip into the DMs with us. Let's fucking sort this out so your fans don't keep fucking sending us messages about how they're not going to buy our DVDs anymore." Um Yeah. They haven't fixed it yet though. It's still in yeah. the process. Yeah, I mean, basically what happened uh Oh, look. Someone said, "Oh, look, DP's first pedophile." I on doubt the show. it's the first. Dude. Are, they ca- are they calling you one? 
I doubt it's the Dude, first. Dude, people love to call other people pedophiles on the internet. That's like the newest. It's a, it's like the internet yeah. version of a drive-by shooting. Apparently, you know? Dan Harmon's a pedophile now because he made a joke one time. Yeah. Yeah, somebody said uh, it was a stupid joke too. It was actually a clever joke that was just very distasteful. Yeah, I've heard. It, I haven't actually seen that yet, but I heard it was fucking hilarious from my my friends who watched it. So, but but yeah. It, anyway, I I could play it, but it just means this video won't be monetized someday. But they do monetize our video. I mean, literally, this video right now isn't monetized because we're forced to stream on an unmonetized channel. So. Good luck on that, by the way. I had a, an alt channel that met the requirements for monetization about four months before it actually got monetized. So. Yeah, we're we're going on uh, we're going on the second month right now. So I I don't have any expectations. I know YouTube's fucking us. Uh, you know they they change the rules, then they punish you retroactively for things that you did before they made it a rule. It's just ridiculous. Uh, I, I took every video on on our original channel and backed it up and put it somewhere else just in oh, case. Yeah. That way, all of the episodes are still there. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let's put up the timer. Let's put up the timer. And here we go. Um, so um, this next clip actually is it's called uh, Racist Ben. Hey, do you know that anime with the giant tentacles? And there's big dicks in it. M moving on. When there's um, dicks, I what? What? Hold on. What? I, That's like you're sucking a big penis. <laughs> it's 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 like penises. When I look at that, I just think of penis, and then I'm a sweet boy. This isn't funny. Moving it on. It is funny. Next segment. It actually is funny. It is totally funny. <laughs> oh, oh my, my what my hernia what? Oh, what? Oh, what? oh i'm surprised i don't have hernias you know what you know what chat you know what chat uh d d does ben say they're going to play less videos no no i'm gonna play more videos chat so just settle just settle down okay jeez everything i do why are you I messing with the chat they're sweet boys they're sweet boys in the chat they're sweet boys well, I'm going to go put something in my asshole really quick. I'm going to go eat some meat-wrapped cheese, because that's keto. Guys, I'm under 440 pounds now. What <laughs> the fuck is happening? <laughs> oh, my God. What? Um. <clears throat> Wow, this is taking longer than I thought. Welcome back. This is episode 469. Ah, I can't do you this long. Yeah, I know. It's hard. <laughs> We're going to have to switch it to like two minutes or something. <sighs> We're all sweet boys. I got way too drunk over the course of this show. This feels like a fever dream. I don't know what the fuck's happening. Anymore. I already I already used all of his mannerisms that I had committed to memory. I'm going to yeah. have to... I'm going to have to sit down and study more. Oh, hold on, hold on. Ben made $200 sleep streaming last night. Maybe I should do that tonight. I should have just laid down and fell asleep. That would have been fucking hilarious. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'm a sweet boy. You're not a sweet you boy. Know, you're not a Onision's sweet boy, Billy. Onision's just misunderstood. You know, your friend Onision. He never even actually did anything wrong. Can you prove it? Can you prove it that Onision actually did anything wrong? His basement's nice. You know, actually, when I met Onision, he said I was a handsome man. You know, he said he, he said I was a very handsome man. Onision's actually a very you know who's way he's more a very handsome? sweet boy. John Cena. No, <laughs> st no, stop it! John Cena's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh yeah. <sighs> But where'd you get the ass thing? I, I literally don't put things in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, especially not on camera. 
<laughs> but now I want to sip out of that water bottle more than any other water exactly. bottle I've ever seen in my life. See, I like the way that you had to publicly defend that you don't put things in your ass. I just don't get where you <laughs> got that from. I mean, maybe, maybe it's behind the scenes. No, I had thing. to, I had to publicly defend that I don't <laughs> privately put things in my ass. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, I did a whole episode about my colonoscopy, so that was about things I got spit roasted. That's true. Yeah. One on the inside, one on the outside. Someone said uh, Ben didn't bring his A game. Yeah, Billy Ben I, didn't. I don't. I don't know. I. You know, what? I'll try harder next time. Uh, the, the time is basically up for this. Next time we're gonna do two minutes because that's hard. I'm gonna have to work harder on on, on my Billy, which is yeah. weird because I spend so much time with him. Yeah. I mean, will anything be different if you do it again? Would it not just be the same exact? I think next time uh, I'm gonna get a hat and Ben's gonna get a bandana yeah. and we're gonna switch you the gotta camera. Bring, yeah, and you gotta bring your donut chain too. I'll put that on. It's true. And I gotta like make my voice higher. What? Talk, talk what? again. Talk. Talk again. Oh, well, actually, I don't talk what? like that. What? You know, I, what? I actually never put things in my ass. That I don't get that part. You know how many? I I, I don't even wipe my ass. Okay. That's how, that's how much I don't put things in my ass. I don't even put toilet paper <laughs> up to it. I don't it, put okay? things in my ass because there's already so much up there. I can't <laughs> fit anything more. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> All right. That Yo, what's good? Pretty. Namaste. What's good? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Your boy, back with another episode. Quick video. You can eat sunlight. You can absorb the sunlight with your mouth. With your mouth. You hear me, people? All you got to do is this. <laughs> Breathe it in. Take it in. Put your face <gasps> above. Look at the sun, but don't look at the sun. As in, don't look at it with your eyes, but look at it with your mouth and absorb the sun. Eat it. You're a sun eater. Show There's me what a, that mouth uh, do. Yo, I'm taking eater. this advice, though. <laughs> You're a sun eater. I will definitely go eat some sun. Oh, fuck, guys. I, I need to go because I have to make a video every day, and I only have an hour and a half left to do that. Oh, shit. You better yeah. make a porn. I've made a, a, a bet with a lot of people, and I will lose a lot of money if I fail. So I'm going right. to leave you guys to your um, sun-eating videos. I'm also too drunk <laughs> to participate anymore. I don't know what the fuck's happening. This yeah, you shit's better not. fucking trippy. You, you better not fuck this up, dude. You better make that video. I will. I will. I'm I'm already working on it. I just got to finish okay. it. Okay. Okay. All right. See you guys. All uh, right. Thank you, DigiBro. Later, DigiBro. Later, sweetie. Later. Everybody left us. <laughs> Here comes the sun. Let's talk about this guy something eating like that. He's a dragon or something like that. Well, oh, you're he's a dragon, dragon too? All right, reptilian blood, all that stuff like that. Um, draconians, the, the lyrans, the, the reptilians, the, the vegans, the Pleiadians, all them people. The vegans? You Did you say the Canadians? From those strands of DNA. The draconians, the Canadians, ancestors, the vegans. And all of your encrypted DNA. Not encrypted, but like, what I wanted to say was encrypted with information that you get from the sun when you absorb the sun with your mouth with your you, uh, why, why does it have to be with your mouth you you absorb the sun everywhere yeah i don't know i think he's just uh crazy right with your eye <laughs> which is your mouth with your eye do you say your eye with it which is your mouth it, your eye which is your you mouth basically your, like you feel like is this g-man's brother and you feel like <laughs> You're, you're, getting, you're getting food from it. The sun this might is be food. The sun brother. is nutrition. The sun is nourishment. You need the sun. I, the sun. That is true. We do. The sun, you'd be nothing. Yes, all of existence as we know it on planet Earth would be nothing if it weren't for the sun. You'd be a tiny speck of dust, a tiny speck of darkness that floats in the atmosphere of the outer cosmos. <laughs> That's what you are. If you don't have no sunlight, you're just dark, and you're just pitiful, you're just miserable, and you're just We're depressed all made and everything. Spe and space depressed dust people come and outside, pizza crust. they feel happier. But sometimes they don't want to come outside because if they're, they're exposed to the drama and the and all the chaotic uh, 
influencement of the world. Influencement. The chaotic influencement. <laughs> they all influenced by the by the by the chaotic influencement of of the of the earth. Yeah, um, and the sun. Here's the secret about eating sun: is you don't have to eat it with your mouth. You eat it with your your you your whole body. You can't eat it. It, it, it soaks into your skin, dude. Yeah. You get vitamin. What vitamin comes from the sun? Uh, vitamin. Uh, vitamin. Sun. Fuck all. <laughs> vitamin. Was it vitamin that, D? Vitamin D, dude. I you think that, it is. Get that sweet D. The sun gives me the sweet D. Give me the D, son. <sighs> see, see, talking about dick. I was talking about vitamin D. Oh yeah. I was talking about vitamin D. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> this this whole this whole look. The sun about to come back up. This whole realm is is based off of laws and principles and morals. We have to follow those. What has he actually said this entire time? Nothing. He said that the sun. Yeah, we wouldn't exist without the sun. You're right, but not because it would be all dark. Because <laughs> he has reptilian dragon blood, like the vegans and the Canadians. Like, like fucking seriously. What? Wh- 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 those principles and laws. <laughs> And you have to make your own morals. Make your own morals. It'd be, it'd be dark without the sun, you know that? You know that? It'd be dark. <laughs> uh, yeah, it would also be unbelievably cold. No, nothing we know would exist. I just want to see him deep throat that sun again. Suck down that sun. Yeah, uh, look, the only reason I compare this guy to G-Man is because they're both equally fucking crazy. Oh, yeah? That's the only reason? Yeah. What? <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Uh, let's eat some sun, test theory out. Maybe he's on to something. Maybe he's on something is more like it. He's on that sun, baby. He had a little, little too much of that sun last night. Now he's sun sun over. Uh, if, hung, if you're hung over on sun, is that just called like sunsetting or sunset? Yes. I'm set. I'm set off the sun. Sunset flip. If you've ever had this feeling oh, this that guy something again. was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was, then you've come to the right place. Secret societies, mystery religions, and the Illuminati have been controlling our reality since the beginning of time. But not anymore. Because there is an... Ho, 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 what? How are we supposed Poopy. to take this seriously Poopy when the Baphomet takes a big fucking dump in its diaper? Poopy doodoo Baphomet, that's cute. Awakening happening, and you are about to become a part of it. Wake up, because this is a call for an uprising. This is oh, a no. call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. Well, another week. Another music video released. I haven't covered too many recently. It's all really just sickening, and it's all the same thing. Yeah, because you see the fucking same thing everywhere you look. <laughs> Everything is... You are... You're worse than Mario. You are You are fucking worse than Mario. You... Uh, okay, yeah, it's a music video. It doesn't mean it's satanic, okay? Yeah, it, it, it like, by the looks of this, you know, they're selling sex, you know, ass and titties and shit. That's that's because it sells. People yeah. want that. Do you know how awkward my boner is with this guy speaking over it right now? Like, <laughs> just leave the girls, man. But if you watch the video I did on Magic, we've got this band called Little Mix. I've exposed them before. Singing songs about black magic, showing black them. magic rituals satanic rituals and promoting it towards what young girls it doesn't fucking matter it's all bullshit okay i do like how her all right the, the girl over here with the bikini her brazier top looks like the all-seeing eye over her boobs that's that's cute that shit cute like would this guy rather young girls watch this fu- practice witchcraft or 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 smoke crack i'd like to hear him answer that question I'm, I no. think they should do both. Everybody, People should experiment in life. That's why I get so fired up over what? stuff like this. Some people go, well, what, you know, what, what does it really matter? Why don't you talk about some of the other stuff with Trump and all that's going on in the news? Well, this is how they indoctrinate kids because the kids are the future. And are the kids putting on the news 
following Donald Trump and as all opposed this other- to how religion indoctrinates children right and and makes them follow their fucking uh doctrine so that they they, they they don't burn in hell when you tell a fucking five-year-old that if he doesn't clean his bedroom he's gonna burn for eternity in hell when the adult telling him that doesn't even understand what eternity Who says is that fucking psychos <laughs> fake news that the TV pushes which is all part of the plan no they're not the reason our society's so dumbed down is because they've got a control of the minds of the millennials and the minds of the teens. How? And the young teens, specifically girls, are targeted by these girl groups. That's why these groups keep coming and going, coming and going. One direction, who's the next one direction? That's because they get older, and once they become <laughs> 30, they're not marketable anymore. Not, not even that. Not even that. The audience that they were marketable to is an adult now and the young ones aren't going to get all fucking hard off for uh, 30 year olds you need the 13 year olds to be attracted and the, the problem with 13 year olds is they get older but the there's always new 13 year olds to entertain that doesn't mean you can still shove just entertain you can't just shove justin bieber down the next generation of 13 year olds right throats. he's gonna be too old eventually they need a new justin bieber yeah it's, it's 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 gonna happen and it's gonna be sexy because this market is all about selling girls the idea that, that, that it's, they're butting into their sexual uh their 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 their, 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 their their thirst for man needs to be fulfilled with the Jonas Brothers or the fucking Umbop Hansons or B- wow. One Direction or the Bieber. The, this is all porn. New kids for, on the block. It's a new kids on the block. It's all porn for little girls. That's what this is, and it's it's always been there forever. This is the Beatles were porn for little, little girls. Little Magic or uh, Little Mix, excuse me. Who's the next Little Mix? All they are pushing the same symbols, the same signs, over and over and over. See. This guy's obsessed with symbols and symbolism. It's not even what they're actually doing that he cares about. It's this perceived symbolism in everything that they do that he's worried about. Because he's teaching, they're teaching children to practice witchcraft without even actually doing that. Yeah. You know what else did? Harry Potter. Yeah. So, even more directly than this. Yeah. I have a hundred plus videos probably on songs and music videos that all do the same thing. They're all choreographed the same. The symbols in the background are all the same. And I don't know how to properly label this group Little Mix other than to call them the skanks of the month because that's what they are. They're the music industry's new skank band walking around butt naked. I would rather. Oh, yeah, look at them butt naked. Look, man, you can see everything. <laughs> no. I would rather have my daughter summon a demon than be subjected to this piece of shit calling her a skank. But what is he looking at? I don't see them naked. Even in the photo before this, they weren't the naked. The photo before this was sexy. But they weren't even naked. I don't care. They were mostly covered. They, they were wearing bikini stuff, but that was sexy, dude. That was sexy. It's butt naked. It's targeted towards kids showing up at the Nickelodeon Awards, specifically winning awards at kids shows because they want kids to follow this crap. Walking around pretty much in bathing suits, naked in the street. What's wrong with bathing suits? Yeah. Yeah. Every generation (laughs) has had bathing suits and bodies showing every generation. This guy, this guy wants to go back to the day where like a bathing suit covered everything except for your feet and your hands. When this guy was a kid, this was a Bond girl thing. The problem was the Bond girls weren't empowered by their, their sexuality as much because James Bond just tricked them into sucking them off. Where are you getting this from? Bond girls. Bond shit. girls dressed like, dressed like this in the 70s. Dressed. They dressed like this, it's dude. In the song of people Barbarella don't think that has any all influence that shit. on children or any influence on anyone. Of course it does. Most of the tendencies that we have are because we were influenced in some way. We learned something. We liked something. We were influenced by it, by others in our lives. There's people who listen to music from the 80s because their parents listen to music from the... That's how it goes. Or kids who listen to music now because their friends listen to it. We live in a society of influence. They use the mainstream media to... Okay, yes, we live in a society of influence, but it doesn't... They're not trying to influence people to practice witchcraft or satanic worship. That does nothing for them. If I got you to practice satanic worship for me, I would gain nothing out of it. Because that's what you accomplish by worshiping Satan. What does, nothing! What does he gain by, by telling the world that this is satanic? 
Nothing. No. Attention. He gains the stupid ass fucking Christian moms that watch TVC Mario's channel. He gets them views because these Aw, stupid damn. Christian moms come over to his channel. And they say, you know what? You're right. I got to I gotta look to you because I can't keep up with all the new hip Satanry going around in America. Satanry. I need, I need this fucking dipshit to make Baphomet fart jokes and then tell me how to raise my kids. Jessica Niggery. What? What? Is that her name? What? Moving on. <laughs> Influence all of us. So let me get into this video before I puke on my computer screen here. What do you think the first thing... I like how he acts so appalled by all of this. This is total vanilla bullshit. Yeah. That this group would promote. Well, of course, what a surprise. I just talked about it earlier today. Oh, no, not drag queens. No. No, everyone knows that little boys want to dress as women while they practice satanic rituals. No. Good. They look fabulous, though. Hey, fabulous. trannies. We get a bunch of transgender freaks walking around in the music video. Oh, my God. Are you fucking... Uh, uh, I don't advocate for anyone's channel to be taken down, but my friend, Tommy from the Bronx... He got his channel taken down, and one of his strikes was hate speech, and he made a perfectly sensible video about transgender issues, and this guy's like, look at these disgusting trannies, and he still has his channel. What the fuck? Subconsciously, what do you think they're doing here? Well, they're pushing female women's empowerment, the feminist movement, which is a creation by the Rockefellers, and they're pushing everybody to embrace the insanity known as trannies. So we have trans. I see uh, Je the newly famous star Jeff Holiday. Yeah. In the chat, Jeff Jeff Holiday, the PewDiePie's superstar, successor. Superstar Jeff Holiday. He's getting too big for his buddies. He's gonna sixty forget about million us all. subscribers. Jeff Holiday. Yeah, yeah, Jeff. The guests had to go. If if you're not busy, you can come on. No, no pressure though. I will I will tell you that hi I think I'm real spoke very highly of you uh, while while he was on he he said sweet things about you he said you're one of his best friends you're a sweet boy and then what do we see we see right on the car what does it say on the car girl power girl call you all right I'll call you God forbid that women have some sort of power. You know, back in the the Wild West days, the only women were po with power were the prostitutes, because they could make their own money. Right now, these women are using their sexual advances to get some of that power back, and men are fucking scared because they know how powerful the prostitutes were back in the Wild West. Were they're they? Fucking, yeah, the, the the Wild the prostitutes of the Wild West were the first wave of real feminism. People are like, bring Finn on. I tried. To, I've been trying to contact Finn. Well, Finn said in about an hour or so. Oh, so I think okay. he might have been busy. I'm not sure. It's, people get mad at me for doing shit I don't even have the ability to do. Uh, and that's why we. That's why we ignore those people and continue being sweet boys. All right. So. Uh, sweet boys. We're yeah, sweet yeah, boys. We're, we're, Wait. So where, where, where's my boyfriend Finn at? Where's my boyfriend Finn at? Uh, he'll be on later. Oh yeah. He'll be on later. Oh, I'm gonna turn he, my fan off. Hang on. All right, no problem. Oh, yeah. He's going to get his list of doxes right now. Dox. <laughs> Dox I'm, list. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to blow a lot of smoke up your guys' butts, but <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm celebrating pretty hard right now. Just saying. Awesome. <laughs> you should have got the Balthazar. That's, that's a pretty big bottle, though, so, right? So did you see a boost today from this promotion? Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah? It's, it's, it just started. It's uh, it's not bad. Pretty good. I have a, I have an army of nine year olds that are uh, all subscribing to my channel now. Yeah, that's just like what happened with you with Leafy. Yeah, the only <laughs> the only difference is is you guys had a kayfabe uh, like yeah. feud going. Yeah, on. me and Leafy had a feud, and then YouTube switched their algorithm before it could re reveal that me and Leafy were just joking. So I still get little kids to this day threatening to beat me yep. up for killing Leafy. It's so stupid. Wait, they think you, you, they think you killed Leafy? Well, yeah, because Leafy's gone now. I, every day, like, let Leafy out of your basement, you fat, fat <laughs> ass. Yeah, it's true. It's so bad. Like That's you're amazing. gonna love this though, because they're all gonna be like, "Hey, you're the guy that did made people stop drinking chili juice." PewDiePie says you saved the world. 
That's gonna be perfect for you. <laughs> no, I'm I'm the number one reason why cancer hasn't been cured yet because I I debunk jilly juice. It's true. It's true. <laughs> I'm a disinformation agent, man. I'll tell you what. I've been dreaming about your JF impersonation since the last time <laughs> I heard it. It's. It, can can you give us some right now? Just like I, I think there are some people that may not have heard it. Is that the fact, Benjamin? Have you been late at night when all of the lights are down and you are comfy in your down comforter? You start to think about my voice, this sexy, sexy <laughs> French Quebec accent. You do not know how desperately you need the thick <laughs> cock of an alpha chat man. Sexy. It's too good. It's too good. And I I remember, like, I can't remember who it was, but someone was arguing with you like you were JF. And the first thing you came back with was, like, that was a straw man. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. No, I had, like, like a really rough week. Uh, This is a few months back. A really rough week when I I, I just, I, I had enough of, like, trying to humor people. So anytime somebody tried to talk to me, I just replied with, that is a straw man. And when they asked for like clarification, I just like type in like JF accent until people stop talking to me, and then they left me alone. It was great. <laughs> that's all you had to do. That's that, that's the secret that most people don't understand. Is like when you when you have a, a an internet presence and people are being overtly obnoxious to you, and you you don't want to talk to them. You want to have a break. You need like a little bit of breathing room. You have to be so fucking obnoxious that nobody wants to talk to you, and then it just solves itself. The whole problem takes care of itself. It's true. People are saying JF Holiday. Yeah. Uh, there's no French in my family, um, but uh, I mean, like, if JF wants to come over for dinner, he's gonna have to behave though, because I, I do, I do have a cousin, and she is autistic, and if if he touches her, I will kill him. Yeah. There may not be any French in your family, but in that case, JF might start Frenching your family. Ooh. Pepe I don't Lepew. know. I mean, you know, he's 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 very pocket sized. Like you guys know this, right? He's like five three or some shit. Like he's I a very think five tight six man. is what he said. Uh, Was yeah, it five three? Uh, yeah. How how tall how tall is Brittany how tall is Brittany Pettibone? And like he's like four inches shorter than her. I don't know like, how tall. I did see that interview though, because you mentioned it and I looked it up. He's super wee. He's a very very tiny round. He's like a. You know, you know, he reminds me of uh, what was the name of the girl in uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, and she like ate the candy, and she became like this big round. Oh. Violet, you're turning yeah, violet. Violet, violet, yeah. violet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's shaped like Violet post blueberry binge. <laughs> what do you post get when you guzzle binge. down sweets? Mm-hmm. Eating as much as a Billy Fridge eats. What? <laughs> 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 All right, let's uh. Let- Oh, you know what? Let's watch Girl a little more. Power. So they're pretty much brainwashing people. This is like the vigilant Christians, like retarded clone. It's a thinking okay. that these men wearing wigs and lipstick and bras are women, and they're part of the women's empowerment group. This is how they subliminally program the youth out there to think that this is normal because they see it. What do I always say? Repetitively, it's constantly repeating. It's the same symbols. It's the same agendas. Right? Why is the transgender everywhere? Why is McDonald's the transgender? Up? Transgender. Is that Wait, is that is that the way of mixing trans and agenda together? Yeah. Transgender. That's mm-hmm. weird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The transgender is everywhere. Mm-hmm. It's all. It's a. It's a. It's a huge uh, reptilian Illuminati plot, man. For uh, chicks. Chicks with dicks. Since <laughs> since you weren't on here earlier, how do you feel about? Uh, Alex Jones getting erased from everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I've, I've had to talk about it quite a lot uh, on Twitter because I refuse to make a video on it. But um, I can I can I can kind of sum it up pretty quickly. Um, so if, if anybody wanted to ask, do am I in favor of censoring him? No, I'm not in favor of censoring Alex Jones. Uh, I think the only thing that censoring Alex Jones does is gives him uh, legitimacy. Um, but something that you have to keep in mind, like, so, so all of us, all of us, Billy, Ben, anybody who's done YouTube for a while, we all understand, like, there are ways in which we can get fucked, and I mean hardcore yes. fucked, by the fucking rules, and Alex Jones has done ten times, if not way more than that, 
breaching the fucking rules of conduct, but he never suffered the cer- the the consequences of those actions. He never did, and and you know why he didn't, right? Because he's famous. Because he's famous, and because he brings in the fucking the views, and those views equate to clicks for advertisers and for revenue. So he was making YouTube fucking money. Now this is my this is my theory, and I don't think this is conspiracy theory. This is like a projected intelligent theory of with him going to court for all the shit that he said about Sandy Hook. They started seeing that there was an opportunity where maybe the advertisers were going to catch heat for being played on on Alex Jones channels uh, and it would be a big controversy and suddenly they would lose out on ad revenue. So they decided that from a cost analysis perspective, it would be better for them business wise to kick Alex Jones and all the rest of the other social media because it started really loosely. If you notice, like it started just a little bit here, a little bit there. And then it seemed like a market response. All these other companies were like, OK, yeah, no, we're done. We're going to we're, we're all dumping it. We're all dumping him at the same time. He's a toxic property. He's not good for our advertising. Well, initially so, they, they were only censoring him by taking the videos down or the, the, the podcast hmm. clips down that were used in the lawsuit case. That was the initial sure. backlash. Here's a question. Yeah. Uh, do you think Trump's violated any of Twitter's guidelines? Uh, oh, violated Twitter's guidelines? Uh, yeah. that's, uh, that, well, like, that's different, though, because like Alex Jones isn't booted off of Twitter. He's still on Twitter. Yeah. Well, yeah, but, yeah, actually, you're right. You're but, right about but that. But Trump has threatened entire countries on Twitter, and mm. people get booted off the time for making threats all the time. The difference is Trump actually commands a fucking army and, and could do this. So these threats are legitimate when it's a 14-year-old kid saying, I'm going to fucking kill you, you you neighbor. And and uh, <laughs> he's well, not going to do anything. But Trump it- could do something. There's there's a little bit of a difference though between like, you know, a guy that that anybody who who has two brain cells to rub rub up against each other knows is a fucking liar, versus, oh shit, well I guess okay he's a politician yeah. so yep. okay, I know but still but still there's there's a difference. <laughs> I would love diff- to see Trump get banned from Twitter just to see what happened like the fallout from that. Wouldn't It'd that be, be hilarious. Amazing? It that would, would be. be. Incredible. Yeah. That would be wild. I'm but, gonna I mean, make like, a sock account. I, I don't. I. <laughs> I don't. I don't think. Makes... I don't think censoring Alex Jones is the right way to go. I really don't. Um, because, like I said, I think it emboldens him. Uh, I think it sets a like, like a stupid precedent up. But like, I, I there's so many of these jackasses out there these days who are like, Alex Jones didn't do anything wrong. Dude, fuck you. Of course he did something wrong. The motherfucker breached the terms of service so many goddamn times is ridiculous. I have so many friends of mine who have lost their YouTube channels for far less than he's done on a weekly yes. basis. It's true. Straight up. He got a lot of second chances. Mm-hmm. Still probably shouldn't have gotten gotten dumped though, because now we're now everybody's like shitting a kitten all over the place. So yep. And no. Soros is going to put some money into DTube or something, and so, so what's 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 this video like? This uh, this person's like a like afraid of the tranny dick or what? He's uh, everything's satanic. Yeah, this, he'll, he this picks music a, video. He picks music video. This one happens to have trannies in it, or but he's like bitching about these women too. These satanic hen They're, symbols. They, they want to teach young girls to practice witchcraft or whatever. It's it's dumb as fuck. I'm gonna move on anyway. Let's see uh, what these else. These girls we got are here. sexy though. Yeah, I just not bad. Shout that out. I'm he big fan. creates toxic masculinity, according to a university professor. Eating meat is bad for you, it's bad for the country, and it reinforces gender stereotypes, apparently. But it tastes so good. Joining me now, Dr. (laughs) D'Alessio Parson. Okay, doctor. Why is eating meat bad, really? I think I may have seen this before. Well, well, we have to back up, because you, I think at the beginning, just said eating meat creates toxic masculinity. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Eating eating meat? Toxic masculinity is already there. It's already there. Just making... Does eating meat make toxic masculinity worse? It's one of the ways in which it can reinforce existing kind of social structures, including patriarchy. Well, how <laughs> did you hear that? Hello. Oh. Kiss me, you. Yes. Now get out of here. I'm working. All right. <laughs> Billy loves you. All right. Yes. So. 
so 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 they're 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 trying to say that like uh, eating meat is encouraging toxic masculinity. She says she says it's like part of the patriarchy. Social structures, Listen. including patriarchy. Well, how does that? reinforce social structures <laughs> that where men dominate so eating meat reinforces uh male dominated social structures including patriarchy because i hate agreeing with fox news it sucks well i mean excuse me but i think like eating the meat is probably a lot less about i mean I, well in a heterosexual culture eating the meat is probably more uh more more feminine than male well, I, I, are, are is the is the meat industry yeah. dominated by men but I will say that it's normally the female animal that we eat. Yeah, usually. Yeah, yep. absolutely. Is that is and that her argument that like it's an oppression upon the the, I don't the think female so. animal personhood? I guess we'll see here. This guy okay. is a, like this guy doesn't make any good arguments against her though. He just like pulls out a steak and starts eating it. And <laughs> it. Yeah, it's really complicated. Yes. We'll break it down for a. How about this know, though? You said we had four or five minutes, right? Just keep it simple. How does eating meat make the genders unequal? Eating meat holds um, a lot of symbolism, and it really is too much to explain in four minutes. But it has to do with the fact that our individual level decisions, the things we decide to do as individuals, mm -hmm. um, what we consume, mm -hmm. what we put on our bodies, the things we buy and put in our households, mm -hmm. are fundamentally political acts. Okay. Right? Oh, uh, <laughs> see, here comes the play. Uh, Personal uh, political. Okay. So. That's a woman I'm doing a this too. Right now, I'm Perfect. That's the matriarchy. I hear you. This. I wish I could have half of that, but this doesn't look vegan, and I'm trying to be vegan. You're a vegan. I'm really. It's really hard because She's I don't know if I told you I'm from Wisconsin. Vegan? Okay. And uh, this is on. This is on Fox News. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm not a big fan of Fox News usually. This is pretty legend right now. This well, is this is true. what Fox News should be. It mm -hmm. shouldn't be masquerading as news. It should be men bullying women for their point of views. <laughs> How? <laughs> I do that every day. Yeah. How can you go to Capitol Hill with your head held high, with your fucking keto diet, propping up the patriarchy in our society? You've already gone there and been a blatant racist with Ice Poseidon. Not true. What? I was there. Nope. I was there. I ca categorically denied. How can you do this, though? How can I? How, how can, can I meat? be a keto boy? Yeah, I'll tell you how I can eat meat. All right, I am not afraid to admit that animals are dying on a rapid at a rapid rate but they're also being grown at a rapid rate the, the, we wouldn't have as many cows or chickens on this earth if they weren't our food so by eating meat we're if if we didn't eat the animal that we now call a cow that animal itself would, would not, be extinct well it wouldn't exist it would have it never have existed it would it would it wouldn't be it wouldn't this be was a, a selective this was a selectively bred animal over and centuries he, and yeah there's cruelty going on there by killing this animal with a fucking bolt to the head and then dicing it up next to its little babies as it sucks the fucking mother teat for the the milk to wash it down with Man. but i don't care i don't care because this is how our society works it's a fucking business if we want to change the way we eat I'm all for it, but I've been doing it my entire fucking life, and I can't change right now because I'm on a keto diet. So going vegan? And I need, and I need them protein gains, man. I need them. I need them. them I need the, the carb losses. I need that shit gone. Cheese it was like one of my favorite things. See how that looks pretty good. That's a little rare, medium rare. Yeah. Is got this some nice dead animal, dead cow hanging on your fork? Is this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. bad that I'm eating? She said meat? it was nice. If you, I like. Oh my god! Is like this this look, bad? How, look at the look on his fucking face when yeah. he puts the meat in his this mouth. This actually is toxic masculinity. What he's doing here? <laughs> There's 100 percent toxic masculinity. He's looking her in the eye as he's saying, "I don't respect you." Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. toxic. Like Sitting they, at the blue moon, sipping on a blue moon burger in my belly. Now they tell me I should chew food. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank ne you, Jeff. He'll never have a burger again. Mm -hmm. Not the way, not the way God intended it. With a bun like a real American. I know. <laughs> you go hunting. Instead That's of getting a, totally a bun, though, you story, can just right? get the another burger hands. patty. 
it right now much you're kind of just enjoying the benefit and the blood's on someone else's hands and that's not very fair what if they want to hunt meat or what if they want to raise cattle <laughs> oh what if they want to hunt meat yeah. <laughs> he's like just the ultimate troll here He's such a dumbass, though. Like, I, is, I hate watching him try to argue with people. He's not arguing, yeah. right? He's just he's trolling. Totally, Greg, but the Greg idea... Gutfeld. She's, she's being so calm about yeah, it. Yeah, killing and taking a life. Um, that we should really... The, the funny thing is that she's talking to him like she's taking him seriously, which is a, a, a big mistake. No, it's not a mistake, because if she that. got triggered, they'd have just shat on her otherwise. They'd be like, oh, see, he triggered her with that fucking stank. Good, good, good job, Greg. Is it Greg, yeah, she, or what's his she, name? She, Greg, yeah, Greg Gutfield. Yeah, well, I mean, like, yeah, she's stuck. She's stuck in this. Like, she's literally in their studio right now. Where's she gonna go? She's just gonna get up and fucking leave. Like, they can paint that any way they want. Yeah, she's she doesn't want to lose her cool. She wants to try and poke through this and not be the fucking triggered woman, right? Mm -hmm. Last thing she wants to be is the triggered vegan because some guy had a piece of meat. Because every Fox viewer is right here looking at that steak like, God damn it, I wish I'd half that steak too. God damn it. human beings. You know, people have said you should judge a society by how it uh, treats their animals and we you know it'd be great if we had universal health care for our animals universal health care for animals that could be expensive um we can afford it look really because we're 20 trillion money. dollars in debt um i got some money <laughs> I got do you nice care money. more about people like or her. animals yeah she's I a care sweet girl about um our world and i think in order for us to achieve a more sustainable future particularly regarding what's happening with climate change we need to figure out how the 7.6 billion of us on this planet can be good neighbors and we're really bad at being good neighbors right now okay so like why should i be a good neighbor to a squirrel well <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go to the bathroom really quick. So, uh, uh, why should I be a good neighbor to him. a squirrel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. For one, we don't even eat squirrel. Some people do. Okay, yeah, the rednecks do. <laughs> the the rednecks do eat squirrels. That's a good point. That's a very good point. We're talking about our food here and, and the cruelty that goes into it and the big business and the sustainability. I, I, When I look at veganism, it's not about the cruelty. It's about the fact that it takes a whole lot of resources to raise the fucking cows and chickens that we eat. And maybe if we streamline that into another food, maybe we would be able to feed ourselves better. Uh, sure. I don't, sure. I don't need steak. I just love it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, like, I, I've... I thought for a long time, once they have a way to make lab-grown meat cheaper than regular meat, tastes exactly the fucking same. Like, I'll make the switch in a heartbeat. Like, if you don't actually have to kill an animal for me to be able to enjoy animal flesh, fuck yeah, dude, why not? Why, what, what's, what's the, aside from the, the losing the legacy of, of learning how to hunt, which you could still do if you, like, applied for a hunting license, you could still totally do that. Uh, but if you're just, like, some, some random asshole wanting to go buy steaks... If you get cheaper steaks and it meant that a cow didn't actually have to die, but you could just have just as tasty of meat, why the fuck not? What, what's yeah. the what's the fucking problem? See, like, we, like so, so Benjamin was trying to tell us, like, you know, okay, we're going into this. We're talk, we're looking at a, a Fox News clip with a vegan, and I was automatically assuming that I was not going to like the vegan, yeah, uh, because I I usually hate vegans. They're usually annoying and obnoxious, but. She's like being a rock star, and like if you if you look at this if you look at this this fucking clip just here this pause game, this this right here is like the perfect snapshot of Fox News trying to talk to America. Yep, this is incredible. This is this is this is so poignant right now. He's got like, his big uh, greasy uh, idea on the end of that fork. He's mm -hmm. staring her in the eyes like, you fucking take this idea. You take mm -hmm. this fucking idea. And most people are watching, like, oh, yeah, daddy, I'll take the idea. And she's like, I'm not going to I'm not going to bite that fork. I'm sorry. I have right. my ideas and, and I'm not going to I'm not going to change them because you're, you're you're shoving it down my throat. A lot of people will cower and change. There's a lot of submissives. All right, and on this earth, and and sometimes they need daddy, and when Fox News is the only daddy they have, they just submit to it. They can't help. Sure. It. 
Oh yeah, no, I, I'm I'm down with it. You know, like, uh, uh, do I make you uncomfortable? Uh, spoon eating this 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 shit right here. Uh, it, does this make you? Unco- are you triggered? Are you? Tr- no, I'm not actually triggered. Well, I'm gonna keep eating it until you're triggered. Spoon yeah. feeding this fucking dog shit. Like, yeah, you know what? I was wrong. She is handling it exactly the way she should. Oh, yeah. You don't have to worry about if you don't want to worry too much about the squirrel right now. <sighs> the squirrel's part of nature, right? <laughs> If you if you keep killing nature, what's going to happen to us, right? If we as people keep killing nature, me too, right? Like I still eat cheese a lot. It's not like something that's going to be perfect. You don't kill never cheese, be right? At it. Yeah, uh, vegans will argue that the animals that dairy is produced from are abused in the process. Well, they are abused, but they're not. She's not killing them. They're just abusing them. <laughs> Billy the Fridge quote number three. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But what if you're just hungry and the animals are there for us to enjoy for dinner, for lunch, Cause God says for breakfast? So. Well, because capitalism <laughs> says so. Well, I mean, why would... It could be God. She, she, <laughs> I like God how, said so. Yeah, I like how the little fuckers that were like subtitling everything she says with their little comments didn't say anything on that. Yeah, that was... Because that is an argument you hear a lot is that it God says it in the Bible. God put on this earth. God put them, but it's not just God. It's capitalism. It's it's business. The idea that you can take the weak and fucking profit off them or feed off them is how our country is run. And this guy's eating the steak. Saying, oh, I can't have the steak, but I like this steak. You can have whatever you fucking like in this country and and not care about anybody else. She's saying maybe it's time to start caring about everybody else, or else we're gonna lose it all when the fucking fat are sitting on top of their thrones. Hiding from the fucking uh, hungry masses going to eat the rich. The whole patriarchy part of it, though, is lame. Well, yeah, it was. Stu- she kicked it off with a real stupid idea. The idea of the patriarchy, it needs to be stop, stop being called the patriarchy. It needs to start being called the fucking uh, 1%, the motherfuckers that got to the okay. top and don't want you there. The, 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 muck- the American gladiators that are there with their fucking jousting sticks kicking you back down off the fucking pole. When you think you can fucking beat the gladiators, my dude, it's a rigged game. Dude, that's a like that's that's some that's some straight up shit though, and that's something that like a lot of people are losing sight of these days. And I hate to say it, but like like a lot of my my YouTuber friends who I thought I was very ideologically aligned with, like we understood how these types of conversations are supposed to go. Yeah, like the the patriarchy is a dumb fucking idea, but if you can paint it towards a class struggle. Then you can have a fucking conversation. That like that's the idea. Is like somebody's like the patriarchy. Like okay, well, here's an example of how the patriarchy doesn't actually have to be an absolute. So why don't we paint it as a class struggle? Okay, uh, the same thing with like uh, you can't be racist against white people. Actually, you you can. It's if this is about power, we're talking about a class struggle. If you paint these things as a class struggle rather than trying to like. Like like shoehorn everybody into these identity politics, then you can actually make some but it's, some games. It's ridiculous to suggest that only white people have power. Sure, you know? no, and it absolutely, but, it absolutely but is. But based it's on a just... systematic on a systematic stance, the system is built for white people, so they they are the only ones with power. That's what they'll argue with, right? But that's the idea put in your head that that you you have to argue against the white people and not just the motherfuckers that are actually have the power. Yeah, yeah. White people have certain benefits in this country that people who aren't white don't have. That's true. But a lot of white people will walk into a certain neighborhood and boom, they become a pinata. And people swing sticks at them until money falls out of their pockets. Huh. So that, that I'd say that's privilege against fucking uh, the, the, the people of privilege. You, sure. Everybody has sure. privilege. What what we don't have, all right, is is income equality, and and not not socialism, but just the fucking bottom of the barrel motherfuckers having the simplest things, like like not not going bankrupt because they get sick. That type of shit should not happen in a country full of opulence. Right, right, dude. That's dude. That's the fucking best word you can use for it too. Opulence. No. Yeah, like. Like any country that could actually be described as opulent, obviously has something that is, has a has an overwhelming uh, excess of things that can be like distributed to the citizens. And what what should be distributed to the citizens in specific is, uh, well, the 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 excess riches to people who need the fucking most. And we get this weird idea, uh, and I, I think a lot of it is like. Um, 
is programming by people thinking like how the middle class needs to be like yeah. the the all the opportunity needs to be headed to the middle class. Well, yes, middle class should have some opportunities, but for fuck's sake, man, like when you have people who are living literally in fucking gutters and they can barely uh, maintain any kind of of health to try and get back on their feet. No, I'm sorry. Get 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 into the other fucking line. We're gonna make sure this person is actually healthy and have the ability to try first. If they fail, well then fuck them. But then you know, like, I, it, it, there's there's such a dehumanizing aspect to how we view. Uh, I, I I don't want to say trickle down economics. Well, what's what's a, what's a more proper term of like uh, social equity? That's not it. Like if we have so if we have so much. So much excess wealth, yeah. so much excess yeah. ability to help people, and there are so many people at the very, very bottom that could use just the barest little bit of kindness, and we don't give it to them. That, for that, in my in my belief, that is one of the most systematic failures of a fucking country. If we can't <laughs> care for people who need the barest minimum, we are fucked. Through the seventies and eighties, we kind of changed. Uh, the country being for the people and the, the people having a, a, an, an equal wage and, and we saw the gap spread apart and the idea was now to pinch the bottom, pinch as many pennies out of their pockets as they could get and now that they're so fucking pinched that on a pie chart they are, they are non-existent all right? the idea is to see where they can pinch more from them well, that's the idea that needs to change we can still have the fucking mega rich we just got to stop pinching the, out of the fucking people that have been pinched down to a fucking... Uh, the, the, their earth is flat. They should be paying their fair share of taxes. <laughs> hey, calm down, Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> they should be paying their fair share. Let's see, uh, let's see what else we got here. What is going on, guys? Nathan Roberts here with... Alan Spencer? None other than Alan Spencer from California. Oh, are we getting any? You guys able to see us okay? Because you guys Can't make some comments because the, the screen uh, kind of went dark on us. So I just want to make sure that I didn't lose connectivity. You guys say hello real quick. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I think we got, we're, still, we're still on. What, a, what are you doing? So you guys notice uh, Alan's like shirt. Hat. I know it's, it's mirrored. <laughs> I like that so shirt, yeah. Did you make it? <laughs> Did you make your hat? Did you make it? I like your hat. Dead Can you Jamaica. stop for a second? I like your hat. <laughs> is my salvation a psyop? Man, so I that's a good question. Everything else because next time I come to Seattle, next time I hang up, next time I come to Seattle, man, uh, Billy, you got to make it happen. I'm gonna hang out with Onision. It's gonna happen. <laughs> I'll, I'll talk to him, see what he's up to. Okay. All right. I, uh, I'm going to oh. Oregon next week. Wait, where, where in Oregon? Not that far down. I'm going to Seaside. I'm going to the ocean. To to next weekend. The next week, okay. You hit me up, and uh, we'll we'll make something happen. But I'm going to be up there for PAX end of the month. Oh, nice. Are you? Yeah. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got VIP tickets to PAX. Oh, nice. Fuck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've never been to PAX. Did you get before. those from PewDiePie? Uh, maybe I can't really reveal <laughs> my scores necessarily, but I am still looking for a pretty hot, tight date uh, for PAX West. I'll tell you that I much. went to PAX last year with Onision. Did you? Yeah. Maybe I'll go with maybe I'll maybe I'll take uh, maybe I'll take Onision to Pax with me this uh, end of this month. I'll, I'll hit him up. Fuck. We can fuck. We can fuck. Yeah. I'll let him know you got a ticket for him. Technology can't figure out a very simple functionality of switching <laughs> it. Uh, I don't get it. But what does your shirt yeah, say, it's man? Still good. Uh, my salva is my salvation a psyop, and I'm hoping to find someone who is uh, adamant about. The flat Earth being a government psyop or some kind of, you know, uh, uh, deception from Satan, because I sure would like to hear an explanation on how I came to uh, the understanding that the Bible is the complete and inerrant Word of God if I was tricked into it. So, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of <laughs> so he doesn't understand how he could come to believe something if he was tricked into it. Yeah. Uh, isn't that the definition of being tricked yeah. into something? Is, I think I all salvation is a psyop. How can I be dumb if that means I'm stupid? <laughs> Salvation is the original PSYOP. Wow. Uh, yeah, wow. and we're here at Gwinnett Church in uh, Sugar Hill, Georgia, 
which ironically enough is where some of my family attends, huh. some of my aunts. And uh, they've been giving us some heartache over the last uh, couple week. They couple even weeks incorporated here, along with their, some other relatives. Their 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 logo to have a bunch right of ground of earths. But and, the earths um, are still flat. We got our signs down here. We got two signs. That was this flat earth, and it's got the you know, let God be true, but every man a liar. Romans three four. This can This you know, is this a troll? Is this a troll? Look, I, I, I got to say, man, like these people are they're, they're not they think they're woke. They think they're woke, but they're not woke. Like the earth is not flat. The earth is concave and gay. It's Everybody <laughs> knows it. It's really disturbing how many flat earthers there are out there now. Like they see there seem to be a way more of them. Yeah, Once they were allowed to start finding each other on the Internet, that was the problem. Why are we focusing on Alex Jones when we should be deplatforming the flat earthers? I'm platforming them. <laughs> no, I'm well, so they there's like a there's like a whole uh, subset, like a really underground, underground, like below the flat earthers, so the people who think that the Earth is concave, it's a bowl, right? Uh, and that the sun is in the middle of the bowl. Is that like uh, hollow this, Earth? Uh, no, this is concave no, they, they Earth. Think this it's is something actually new. like literally a bowl, uh, in that you can't see across it because light bends for some weird fucking reason. I, and and these people are are really fascinating, super super fascinating people. Is there like a vortex that allows you to fly around the Earth through the bowl, or are they no. just suggesting people don't fly around the Earth? No, they they uh, they uh, obviously like even airplane companies are totally in on this giant conspiracy. Like you know, if you if you're if you're if you're in a plane and you're going from like say uh, Denver, Colorado to uh, China or something, they'll even pump in sleeping gas so you don't actually realize how long it actually took and they just fly down into the bowl and then over oh, to the other God. side and land over there it's true it's 100 this true. is this is how this is how fucked up people are admitting they're wrong like this your is, bible is, was infallible and you believe because the bible said the earth was flat that you're gonna you're gonna spit in the face of aeronautic engineering and 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 technological advancement. Well, they used to they used to do that with all sorts of things, like it, just like the geocentrists out there, the people oh, that yeah. still believe that the Earth is the center of the universe. Mm -hmm. Look, we gotta abolish religion. <laughs> How um, we got it's it's worse than alcohol, and we had a fucking run with kicking alcohol out of this country. That didn't work. We yes, tried what, though. Like, how did it go when we tried to kick alcohol? Yeah. Didn't go very well. Yeah, can, but can we just give us like a ten-year ban do on you, religion to see where it goes? Do Do you want to have Do you want to have black market religion out there? Oh do you want to have God. like <laughs> mafiosos like uh, oh on the street corner God. being like, "Hey man, you uh, you want to get a you want to get a Bible? You want to get a Bible?" Only, that sounds uh, so fucking dollars. scary. That sounds yeah. so scary to me. I don't. I'm not, I don't fear anything, but that's that's up there. I fear. I fear having to get high with Snoop Dogg and then acting like a little bitch. I want to be there to see that. I you know what, that. Snoop? I'm sorry. I don't like the weed. I'm too high. Oh, Snoop, I need to lay down. That's that's my biggest fear is that I smoke weed with Snoop and I have to go lay down because I was, couldn't handle the weed. That's that's my biggest fear in life, and this is up there now. The idea that black market religion would be a thing if we finally got rid of it there'd be those outliers but i'd still rather have them be the fucking outliers if they were black market if the religion was black market and we put ice's attention on stomping out the religious fucking black marketeers then ice would have a good reason to exist <clears throat> damn i got yeah i got nothing i'm i'm we're supposed to do the post show pretty soon, so I guess we should probably wrap this up. Uh, I I thought F Finn, Finn was Finn never showed back yeah, up. Yeah, F I don't know what's going on. You know, like he comes and goes, and then like what'll happen is like two hours from now he'll be like, "Oh shit, dude! I don't know what happened." <sighs> Finn is I'm usually medicated, man. He is like medicated. I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to have a I'm supposed to have like a one on one interview with Finn like at some point this month. You are. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, me and me and Finn have been uh we've been talking kinda kinda making homies and shit. We wanna we wanna swap drug stories. Uh, <laughs> and uh and when we do it it'll be like on my second channel, which like nobody ever watches or anything. But uh yeah, Not we're, now we're just they will. Have... All PewDiePie's little fans are gonna chase you over there. 
maybe, maybe. I don't know. Like, but we'll, we'll, me and Finn will woke the nine year old army all about doing hardcore ketamine drugs and, uh, and, and doing, doing your best to get laid with some hot piece of trash when you're so high you can barely get it up. Yeah, we're going to woke him up. Woke Fun him times. up, man. You, as, you know uh, what the, the podcast could be called? Uh. You, you, know, you know, Holiday Oh, my God. Look. Holiday look, Finn. There's, there's already. Uh, <laughs> Make sure you constantly roofie women. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> it's a quote. What? Yeah, they, they catch quotes on here. So this was taken out of context. I don't know what you're talking about. I was here. It's on the See, show I'm so, for it. I'm, I'm so sad. Like I tuned in. I tuned into the to the show. Like I always watch the show, but I was I was editing like while most of the the bulk of the show was going on. As soon as I was done, I like tuned in right away. And like my buddy Real, I guess I just missed him. I'm really sad. Yeah. You know, I was watching the Saints when you had Ella on, and I want Ella on the show. She's really good. Like, bro, she bro. knows she knows how to handle the format very well. Dude, there if, if there's there is nobody more fun to have on a stream than the Trap Supreme Ella Grant. She is a fucking rock star. She's so fucking cool, man. She's you should good. challenge her to uh, spin till you spew. <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You know what? I'm glad you brought up spin till you spew. Because, oh, great. Uh, because <laughs> here are the excuses. Here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. All right? I challenged Benjamin here to a spin till you spew, but then I got the shit end of the stick, and he kept picking all them goddamn sports questions. So we didn't actually have a good one-on-one -on -one drinking contest. Yep. It was a trivia contest. Based on sports Listen to these and excuses. Loss. But it wasn't it wasn't about the Titans of drinking. It was the well, Titans you, of who knows are you better challenging, hockey players. Are you challenging Ben to a shot for shot? Where you just yes. drink shots, shot for yes. shot? Yes, in in, in January in in fucking Vegas. In January, in fucking Vegas, shot for shot. I'm gonna fucking annihilate you. So so you're just saying you lost because you're dumb and you don't know trivia very well? Is that what That's I'm right. hearing? That's exactly what I'm saying. Wait, okay. no! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff would rather be dumb than not than a, a shitty superior drinker. drinker. Yeah. I won. I'm the superior <laughs> drinker. Damn. No, Man. you're not the superior drinker. Yeah, you, you're, you are better at knowing hockey players than I am, and I'll give you, you know, that dude, one. Dude, go back and watch that shit. Hardly any of it was about was, hockey players. You're you're exaggerating. I was in okay, line. If we, if we count up how many shots, I did like ten shots <laughs> above what you did. Way more. I was Everyone in line. thought you were gonna win too, and you didn't <laughs> because I didn't answer the trivia questions right. That's part of the game. One on one, one on one, man, one on one. I will fucking wreck hey, your balls. Hey, hey, I'll tell you what. You were winning at first, and then, and then I got a, you got a couple drinks deep, and then you, your brain stopped working with the trivia, and then that's when I moved in for the kill. Yeah, I'm a dumb piece of shit. What the fuck do you expect? But I can still drink you under the table. Well, uh, we'll see about that. I gotta, I gotta tell you a story, me, Jeff. But I'm more Jeff, Irish than you. Jeff, we're we're gonna close up here real quick, but I gotta tell you a story. Um, last night I was at the grocery store and I was in line checking out and this guy in front of me was like, he, he did like a take. He's like, do I, do I know you? And I get this all the time. Like I literally got like four times in the grocery store before that. He looks at me, he goes, were you on the YouTube saints? Are you serious? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Are you yeah. serious? Yeah. I was like, Dude. I was like, yeah, that's my boy Jeff and Nick right there, man. He was like, "Yeah." He was like, "Hell oh, yeah!" So yeah, you, you feel you feel that YouTube Saints bump in your subscriber I'm numbers? I'm saying, so man. Bump. I'm saying. <laughs> it was cool <laughs> no, though. I was like, I was like, "Hell that's yeah!" Cool. That's good. That's cool as fuck, dude. I that's awesome. That's really cool. So that's yeah, a, if, if anyone wants to help us meet our goal before we go and do the post show, for those of you who don't know, the post show is uh for those of you who are subscribers or now they're called me or s m members members are yeah. members if you're a member uh you get to watch it or if you're a ten dollar plus patron you get to watch it if you want to become either of those before the show and catch it you can do that uh yeah, you I'm have gonna, to I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull out my testicles on the post show so oh yeah. shit we've got scars now in the post show Ben's yeah. hernia scars will be in the post show. I have you seen my scars on my balls? But then, like, you've seen me naked, Billy. So, yeah, you probably have, actually. That makes I, sense. I didn't take a close look, so I don't think I... I wasn't down there expecting, inspecting, 
ins- inspect your gadget. He wants to I inspect have, your gadget. I have daddy carved in, uh, in, in ritual scarification across my testicles. Is that a tribute? Uh, that's my uncle. <laughs> do, 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 do. Are you doing <sighs> close encounters? Uh, yeah. Those, that was my close encounters with Jeff's third kind. Well, I'm going to, uh, while the timer's going, I'm going to go get something really quick. I need something to be prepared for the post show. Okay. I'll be right back. While you're going, you got, Jeff and I will talk about highly intelligent things. Go ahead. Yes, absolutely. You won't have me to drag it down. <laughs> 100%. So, so, Billy, the buttress uh, left the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, she's... Uh, <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, oh the scars? Um, yeah, nice. that's the hernia scars. Nice. Um, and she moved uh, to the Midwest. She's she's a gone girl. I'm so kind of sad about that. I had a big crush on uh, on the buttress. She is highly crushable. Like I've known her for some time. We kind of reconnected after uh, her Twitch channel started going, but like the first time I saw her was at a rap show like seven years ago, and I developed a small crush on her there. I saw her, and I was like, that girl is beautiful, and then uh, like I noticed she was like there with a friend of mine, so like that was that changed everything, but it was like mm. at the time, like the moment I saw her, I was like, damn, and I think that that's probably part of her appeal. Everybody falls in love with her when they see her on Twitch. Sure, that, sure. She's, she's funny, and she's she does what she does really well. She's got showmanship, but she does have that like that magnetism to her. She does. Well, that's like you have to have a certain type of magnetism, otherwise you don't actually make it on Twitch. You can yeah. be a hot you can be a hot girl on Twitch. It doesn't mean you're actually going to succeed. And a lot of people yeah. have this idea like all you have to do is just be hot. And that's not true. You have to have a personality. Otherwise, it doesn't actually mesh. Um, but uh, quick, before Ben gets back, I wanted to talk oh, about shit. how he how he cheated. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, what's up? I won. x on the eated che. All, all I'm going to say is like I, I really wanted to make up for, for really pissing off the buttress by going out and taking her out and buying her a cup of coffee, maybe a slice of pie and eating her vagina. That's not and happening. Now I can't ha- I can't do that because she's in the Midwest and I feel, yes. I feel sorry. Yeah, it's <laughs> terrible. Yeah, dude, you, 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 you got caught up with the chat. You fell yeah. in love with You wanted us. to be the hero you know to the chat. It's the chat's fault, man. The chat, chat ruined it, dude. Me. You motherfuckers cock blocked me. That's this is why we can't have you. nice things, Chet. Listen, I'm gonna take. Uh, I love chat more than I love thoughts. I'm gonna take a Percocet before the post show. Oh wow! <laughs> look, look at this fiend. He ran away to get his pill. Them pills. My pills. Them pills. I'm gonna wash it down with some Captain Morgan. <gasps> Dude, that's not. That's just the injury. Oh, Ben and I went out the other night and hung out with Manny. Which Manny? Manny? Uh, he's the guy who load bearded uh, at the last meetup. Yeah, and and, uh, and he also ate a magic card. Yeah, we he, like ju- he was holding a magic card, being like, "Look at this magic." His voice is kind of like that. It's like, "Look at this magic card." We're like, "Do you want to eat it?" He's like, "Yes." Yeah. And then he just took it and like and put it in his mouth and ate it. We went a to whole like magic this, card. We went to this magic card cafe. And he works for the TSA. <laughs> Yeah, he works for TSA. He's the best. He he Ben and I had to get through TSA really quick one time, so he did us a favor and and took us to the uh the room where he sticks stuff stuff up our butts. Oh my fucking god. Should we get Finn in here yeah, for 9 minutes and yeah, 25 yeah, seconds? Finn. Finn. Yes, Finn. yes more Finn. Yes. All yes. right. Finn get, get Finn. Get whatever stuff you want to show off on the show ready before if I bring Finn's you getting on. in here, I'm going to piss. Otherwise, I'm going to get excited and piss all over myself. All right. Oh, you yeah. do that. You do it. I made somebody piss themselves today. You did? Yeah. It was cute. It was cute? Yeah. That's my thing. Well, tell me the story. How did this happen? Uh, I, I made them come 
drop something off to me. Oh, wow. Okay. I, I, at first, I thought you were saying you made them come, and that's why they pissed. No, no, no. I, I, made, I made them, them come, I made drop, them drop stuff some, off. Yeah, I made them come drop something off with me, and that was the amount of time that they, they took to come drop that thing off. Kept them from using the restroom, but they just pissed themselves. It was amazing. Oh, my God. I can't believe how low you guys have sunk. Hot blood, babe. Okay, so now I'm calling him and he's not answering. <laughs> Dude, what a fucking disaster. <gasps> Jeff pissed for nothing. Piss holiday. I think it's trying to call him back now. Mm. Let's play swords when we pee. Swords? Why does Billy talk so much about dicks and man butt? Um, it's easy. Low Gay. hanging fruit comedy. Yeah, just like testicles are low-hanging. Low-hanging fruit. Dude, getting hernia surgery, man, it inflates your testicles. You got big old round ones? I, like did for a, I did for a little while. Grapefruits? And it felt weird to sit down. Ugh. I felt like a hamster. You know how hamsters have like giant balls in proportion to their body? I think they roll around in those giant balls. That's like the little cage thing. They no, no, I meant literally their, their testicles are just huge. Huh. Never really looked at hamster balls. You can't miss them if you ever had a... Hamster for a pet? You Never did. A male hamster. I had guinea pigs. My they guinea got pigs it had too. some pretty big balls. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of those little rodents do. Okay, Finn, I fucking called you to bring you on, and now you're not coming on. What the fuck is going on? I'm going to try one more time. I'll talk to Blair. I do look like a lesbian Galifianakis. <laughs> that rat. Yeah. That uh, truly superior rapper pointed that out. Niet. <laughs> Wait, so Finn Balls, Finn Balls is not in yet? No. I'm trying to bring him in. Okay, it's funny because he'll be like, hey, can I come on? I'm like, yeah, in, in a little bit. And then I message him and he doesn't and then he doesn't respond. And then I'm like, okay, uh, time up. to end the show. And he's like, oh, here he is. I'll try it one more time. Yes. Yeah, he is. And now we have, he's, he's in the wind I'm tunnel. Alive. My favorite thing I'm, is that I'm now we, tunnel. you know how classic, classy Turn on your movies, camera. those classic films would end the film with a fin. It would say fin at the end of the film. Huckleberry the film was fin? fin? No, it would say fin, like those French films. They would end with fin. Oh, yeah. Now that's, we're classy now because we end with fin. We're classy. We're classy now. We're not just classy, oh. we're classy. We're classy. Dude, your camera's still not on. Fin. Oh, my computer's lagging to shit, so give me Yeah, I look like a oh, yeah, sexy Galifianakis. I look like snack Galifianakis. Galifianakis. Dark. Yeah. <laughs> Riff, rap, the Menlinakis. What would you taste like? Yeah. What would huh? I taste? You don't know that three look? Oh, that three loco mm. song is amazing. It We're is running good. through your pockets with pennies and bong rips. Right. Dark I'm just bringing. Riff. All right. I'm just bringing them on this way because Finn can't yeah, figure out his that. camera. Bring them, bring them in. What's up, Finn? Bring How you doing, in, buddy? Bring them in. One of these days, I'm going to bring Finn on, and it won't be a disaster. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, now he's gone! <laughs> <laughs> yes! I fantastic. fell in love with a beautiful stranger. This shit happens all the time. Where is he? I'll tell you now what. I'll tell you what. No, i tell you what. You tell me what. Go ahead, okay, tell me what. I'll tell you what. PAX is going to be absolutely fucking redonkulous. It's going to be absolutely insane. You guys got to come with me. Got to come with me. Yeah, I wouldn't mind going. Be nuts. Yeah, I could probably pick up a pass outside from one of the homeless dudes that sell tickets. Of course. I was I was saving I was saving an extra ticket for some hot piece of ass with giant fucking titties. That's me. But I'll take I'll take one of you guys. It's fine. I'll suck and fuck you if that's what it takes. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. That's pretty much exactly what we, it takes. How about we have a a foot race? <laughs> no. How about we? No, how about no, we have a whoever can sit on top of the other one the longest? Hmm. It doesn't work. Hmm. Well, you you won't even be able to to begin it if you can't catch okay. me. Okay. Okay. Whichever one of the two of you can give me the best tit fuck gets the VIP ticket. I know who that is. 
is. I don't know. <laughs> don't don't discount the Benjamin. Benjamin well, might have fair. some rocking titties. It's not his, fair if his... he lets you titty fuck one of his open hernia scars. Oh That's my god. Cheating. That's my fetish. What are you talking about? <laughs> like Ew. I'm saying I'm saying you might you might enter into the race, Billy, as a handicap, but I think you can overcome maybe by sheer technique alone. Hold up. A handicap? Why didn't you say that with a JF accent? <laughs> maybe, Billy, you can enter into this contest with the handicap. <laughs> uh, it might help if you could pretend to be a potato. That potato? might be the way that you uh, win over my heart and I get you to go into packs with me. And make <laughs> babies. Make the babies. And make the white babies. I wonder if it's too late for me to try to get some fucking passes. Every year, I forget to like hit them up early and get my passes. I'll see if I, I can act- sneak in. I, I could actually maybe if I if I if I if I push it, I might be able to get more than just uh, an extra pass. I might be able to get a couple. Push so, it real oh. good. Because so far, like you, you would think, you would think that there would be like hordes of big titty goth, t- big titty goth girlfriends that would like, I want to go to pass with you. Yeah, I'll cosplay Chun Li and suck your dick. But sadly, that has yet to happen. So maybe I just need to get an extra pass, and I'll just take Billy and Ben. Well, and that's the secret they, about the next packs. best thing. That no, the secret about packs is you don't want to bring the fucking. Uh, you don't want to bring. Th- You don't want to bring the drugs to the party, right? Like, there's going to be drugs at the party. You're trying to bring a big titty women to PAX. You go to PAX to pick them up there. You know PAX used to be in Bellevue? I looked it up. Yeah. And like, yeah. I, I, I went to a, a magic card tournament where they had PAX in Bellevue. They had, like, magic running on its own level. So, like, mm-hmm. I went to the magic tournament, and uh, PAX was running around it. Hmm. But I didn't actually go to PAX. Dude, Hempfest is coming here. up, too. Who the yeah. fuck goes to Hempfest? Ain't nobody me. get laid at Hempfest. Are you kidding me? Uh, Hempfest that's is not like why gathering. I go to Hempfest. Hempfest is like gathering of the juggalos without the promiscuity. You are okay, more, that's cool. more likely. You are more likely to get laid. And on the shitty trash music. Island. You're more likely to get laid at Trash Island than you are at Hempfest. <laughs> <laughs> and that's fine. You know another good thing of another thing that Hempfest has in common with uh, gathering of juggalos is that their standards are too high to let Billy the Fridge perform there. Bullshit! I've turned it down. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Jesus sure, fucking buddy. Christ, dude! You, you could land a fucking aircraft on my goddamn forehead. What the fuck is happening to me? Looks like you're Am sunburned. Fall- Gotta start wearing a bandana, dude. Am I falling apart? Yeah, I'm gonna have to start hiding my bald spot. What the fuck is happening? I'm turning into an old man. That's weird. <laughs> that sucks. I, I'm glad that I'm gonna die young because I don't want to be an old man. Yeah. Die heart complications before your fucking hairline goes, man. That's the that's a that's the true meaning of happiness, right there. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! All right, so we're gonna end this. I guess maybe Finn will be on the post show because I don't know what the fuck happened to him. He fucking better be. Jeff, if you want to join us on the post show, we do it through the Discord. So you just I, hop over there. Yeah, cool. I'll hop over there. Cool. My All bro. right. Thanks for uh, filling in for uh, I Think I'm Real. He had to go do something. I don't I don't know. He had to do good boy stuff, groceries, and he was being a good boy. All right. Good night, Fuck everybody. Fuck Gord! Peace. Fuck Gord! In the beginning, there was nothing. And then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. From the strangest corners of the internet. Gonna get TP'd by Billy and Ben. You know where you can find them at. Get ready cause they're gonna kick your... Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. Drunken peasants, drunken peasants.